All right, welcome back everybody to 2022 PSR Marathon. Uh, once again, my name's Iron. I'll be hosting for the first, I think the first half of this uh, this run here up here, and then we'll have um, Paige taking over. Uh, we got a great uh, race coming up here uh, between Shady and Valkyrie. They're going to be running the newest entry to the Pokemon series, Legends Arceus. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, welcome, guys. Hi. Hey. Um. Both ready to go. I guess we'll go on my count, Shady. Sure. All right. Five, four, three, two, one, go. God, that was painful. I, I love just just going randomly so that I can get even the slightest advantage over Shady. Um, but <laughs> I didn't want to be rude to production. Um, yeah. But anyways, this is Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, probably the most different Pokemon game in terms of uh tech and just general play than any other run yeah i'd say so yeah so, at um, least in terms of the main series games we actually have some movement tech um that's going to be coming up very short into the run um when your character stops running uh they kind of dig their heels into the ground and do this long animation where they literally come to a complete halt and it's really slow um, and it does that every time you run into a cutscene trigger. So instead, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be crouching right before we get to the cutscene trigger so that instead of that halting animation, all the game has to do is stand us up. It saves about a second if you do it perfectly every single time. Um, it's not too hard. It's just, it's a little bit punishing if you're late, <laughs> if you fail it for whatever reason. Yep. But yeah, um... Since this is the PSR Marathon, I assume that most people have like kind of played this game or at least seen parts of it, so we probably don't have to explain that many of the basic game mechanics so we can more like focus on the uh, speed tech and stuff like that. Just like the Crouch Cancel Hulk just explained. Yeah, I don't think I gave it a name, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's called, it, it's called the Hulk Crouch Cancel. Out of the menu to beat you. I mean, you started earlier because I had to wait for the Discord delay. Oh, right, I'm using that I got a slow approach. one second delay. Oops. <laughs> I went for it too hard. hard. Okay. So, I, I did get a crouch cancel there. I, don't, I wouldn't say it was like absolutely perfect or anything, but. Yeah. It was a very safe one. That was perfect. So, um, yeah, uh, the beginning of the run is a little bit, you know, kind of uh, criticized for how long it takes for things to actually get going. Um, but here in a second, we do have another little piece of tech. Um, when you catch these starters, the third one is always guaranteed to break out at least once. So we use that to our advantage. Um, <laughs> When we catch the second Pokemon, we time a Pokeball throw at the third Pokemon so that it does its shaking up in the air animation the same time we're reading required text from the professor about the second Pokemon. And then by the time we finish that text with the professor, the Pokemon breaks out. So we've, we've effectively like multitasked in that situation where we've uh, cleared some text boxes while we're waiting for a breakout that we have to see. So Yeah. Unfortunately, there's some RNG because you need to get a high bounce on the ball. Sometimes you don't just get an instant breakout instead. I don't know if you know this, but I have to actually go for Osha. What second? Really? Yeah. I don't think it makes a big difference, but. Okay. Like yeah, you wanna scare that one so it becomes more likely to shake, but. I didn't get the uh, breakout skip. I even got the uh, high boss on the second one, so that's really unfortunate. Losing me like maybe 5 to 7 seconds over an optimal run, but whatever. That's a 4 or 4. That wasn't, that wasn't the best. What's your fade out? Uh, 58. Okay. It was just like. So it, I'm like 6 seconds like, behind now. Yeah, that, that's about as good as it gets. 
for a start for me. Yeah, I get 57 occasionally. I think I got 57 last night. That's why I said it wasn't that wasn't the best, and it's literally because uh -huh. I missed that half a second or whatever. But yeah. As you said, the start is pretty slow and boring, but at the very least we just had a vote on the Discord to actually merge the Turbo into the main leaderboard, so like there's no harm in using Turbo for the first 30 minutes. You can just switch to a different controller if you wish after that. I do use a turbo controller for the beginning and end of this game. Yeah. I have a more complex setup where I like have two wired controllers and I and it lets me switch between them like in un under a second so I can do both of the cutscenes uh with turbo and just switch to a pro controller for like uh, the actual uh gameplay heavy sections where I have to like use use the sticks to aim and Okay, look, I, I got this uh, funny glitch here, which does absolutely nothing, but it lets me run in this cutscene where I'm supposed to walk. Yeah, this is like one of the least punishing places to do that, because sometimes you can softlock yourself or just make things slower, because uh, the NPCs... Yeah, if you run too far, if you run too far from the professor, you can softlock. I've done it like once, but it never happens if you just run around. Pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's one spot in the game that I would that it's like arguable that it might save time. Um, yeah. Later on, there's an NPC that we are forced to walk with, um, and when you do it, he kind of like zooms behind you. <laughs> like, yeah. You yeah. Sometimes you. we don't fully understand how that works, but uh, we believe it saves a couple of seconds. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe it's just a perspective glitch. I don't know. Yeah. Could be. Um, is there anything else I want to explain about the run? Uh, the run's taken quite a bit of a tumble down in terms of, like, elapsed time. Um, when I started writing the game, the record was, like, 420-ish. I've been running since pretty much release, so... Yeah. That's to be expected. Um, I would say in the last couple months it's taken another tumble down. Uh, mainly because Shady got involved. And, uh, brought, to, brought attention to some items that were being completely overlooked for speed purposes, like, uh, stealth sprays and scatterbangs. Um, you know, the typical aversion to stealth spray is an item that lets you, uh, basically move unheard to Pokemon. It's like, why does it matter when I can just run behind them by being good at the game? But it matters a lot, <clears throat> because if you've, uh, alerted a Pokemon by being loud, um, it takes a little while for the dots on their head to go away. And uh, items like that definitely make things faster. Yeah, the main, general, main we're constantly routing. Yeah, the main use of the uh, stealth spray is to get unspotted catches on things because that gives research points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, several, several, several Pokemon have a uh, research task that involve catching them without being spotted, and that includes without being hurt either. Yeah, so we were talking like how this uh, run is different from like other uh, Pokemon games, and well. Being an open world game inher inherently makes it a little different, but uh, the actual main factor that makes this interesting is the fact that you're required to complete the research to unlock the new areas. Most of you probably already know this, but yeah, that's 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 like uh, what defines this run. We we want to hit 8,500 points to unlock the final area of the game to uh, finish finish any percent. Yeah, fighting so. is actually a very minor part of the game. Uh, there, I believe there's like 10 fights or something total. Yeah. There's not a lot of fights at all. Although, since we cannot turn animations off, uh, the time saving fights is still quite significant. It's just that there are, there are less less of them. Yeah, every turn... <clears throat> every turn's like 13 seconds plus, so... Yeah, something like that. Another crouch gets right here. 
Uh, this is actually a tiny piece of tech. Uh, normally, the game expects you to run all the way to your bed, and then the game stops you and shows your character turning around and looking at this table. But you can actually just talk to the table and save that time of uh, watching your character turn. Yeah, here we're going to be uh, getting our starter. Uh, we have the choice between Cyndaquil, Oshawott, and Rowlet. Um, for a long time, this speedrun used Oshawott as the starter um, because the common school of thought was, okay, we might as well make the starter work for us for the better. But it's still, you know, using the old thought of like, okay, we might as well use the starter in battles and raise it and all that stuff. But this game actively rewards just switching to better, bigger and better things as, as often as you can. Um, because there's no, like, there's no benefit to hanging on to a Pokemon for a long time. Like, EVs are not a thing in this game. At least not traditionally, they're not a thing. Yeah, and since you can catch things outside of battle, we don't need any any strong mons to actually catch, catch things, so we can just go to the area and grab the strongest things that are available there and switch, switch to maining them. Mm -hmm. Oh, how many of our original... Literally none of our... Uh, are, original team that we run in the first area makes it to the end game. <laughs> yeah. They all they all slowly got phased out. Um, but yeah, we used to pick Oshawa um, because it gets uh, a dark subtyping on its final evolution. It gets a really strong move, Ceaseless Edge, which uh, when used in strong style is a 50% crit, and then it also has like a, uh, a spikes uh, type thing where uh, it gives you chip damage. Um, but now we use Cyndaquil. Because Cyndaquil is very effective in this first area for many reasons. One, it is the only starter that starts with a move that gives it research. Uh, two, it um, completely obliterates uh, some high-level Pokemon we're going to be encountering uh, here in the next like 10 minutes or so. Or 20 minutes, maybe. And three, uh, uh, it's horrible. Okay, I, I didn't have a third thing. I got it. After I said three. <laughs> well, that's However, a 52. I wasn't paying attention. Oh well. Who needs to split on things? Not me. I don't have a split for that. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. If you were to main the uh, starter, you would pick Oshawott because the uh, CSS Edge is really strong. I would actually, I'd also make a case for Rowlet's final evolutions uh, moving good. Isn't it like a defense drop or something? Yeah, it's a guaranteed defense drop. Uh, triple, no, not triple kick. Triple arrow, I think it's called. Yeah, I've actually never used that. Uh, it's really undead that's, to try. That, sound, that sounds right. I, I... When I played casually, I used Rowlet because I like Same. the grass starters usually. I, I like the final level. So here design we do something really which good. sounds strange, but we deposit our Pokeballs before we go to the tutorial. Yes, it's very important. Um, basically, when we get to this next area, we're going to get to a point where we can't access our deposit box. And we need Pokeballs to catch these Pokemon for the trial. So the game's going to assume that we've thrown them all or something. Actually, the game doesn't care. The game just knows we don't have any Pokeballs. So if you talk to your rival, your rival will give you another 20 free of charge. So basically yeah. we've just scammed the game out of 20 Pokeballs and all the money that we saved with that. Yeah, and it's pretty huge because the money is quite tight in early game. You don't get paid that much for your re research yet. No fast okay. I'm lucky. Or not like top tier. Uh, if I had gotten my third quick attack before Togepi's second turn, it would have been the top tier speed so that... But it still could be good, just not like... Awesome. Yeah. Basically, there's very little that can happen in this fight. Almost always takes like three turns, but uh, there's a the small chance that if you have a plus speed nature and I think at least two effort levels or ELs on your Syndaquil, then you go, go first. 
or go two times in a row after the uh, second turn, so you save the animation of one of Togepi's attacks. Right, so effort levels. Um, they basically combined e uh, IVs and EVs into one uh, stat. Yeah. Uh, nice slow crouch on the guy, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, basically, any Pokemon that has 0 to 20 on a stat, I believe will have... These are just rough numbers. Uh, 0 to 20 will have 0 EL. Or no, 0 to 16 will have 0 EL. One, 16 to 20-something will have 1 EL. 26 to 30 will be 2 EL. And then 31 IV is 3 EL. And then you can boost the EL by using grit items. Um, that is slow. It's very slow, but it goes up to 10. So. Yeah. They basically combined the stats and then made the EV part of it uh, completely uh, user managed, which is cool. Yeah, it's cool. And even the fact that the game actually shows the stats, unlike in the other main series games, you kind of have to like use some obscure judge function that kind of like shows like approximately what you have. But here it just exactly shows what you have. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Pre yeah. precise yeah. number. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we don't look at it in the speedrun because there's no time, but... Yeah, I mean, in any percent at least. So we do get to see the stats for, like, the sneezes we get in endgame. So here we got our extra Pokeball from the rival. Get the Bidu, get the singular Apricorn, which hardly matters, but might as well since we're just waiting for the Pokeball to click. Uh, I saw some. I saw uh, the stream using the exclamation point WR command in chat. Uh, the world record actually changed last night. Uh, that is true. For two months, since June 2nd, I've had the record at 345.42. Um, but last night, Shady got a 345.27. So... Oh yep. my god, I just barely got those worm berries. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this turn is really far. That's gonna lose me a couple of seconds. That's fine. At least the orange berries are easy to get now. No PB found for runner. <laughs> Seems like the bot isn't cooperating today. Are the two of you playing the tape of the Japanese record? Yeah, we're just kind of wanting to get the English record down a little bit first. Yeah. Because Japanese, uh, I don't want to say Japanese did not allow Turbo, but there's literally zero runs on the Japanese leaderboard for Turbo, so... I, right, I when we combine the boards, active. I don't know what's going to happen with the Japanese board, like... They have their own, own rules. They might have some other side where their times are also stored, so I don't know. Yeah. Also, uh, we had some very interesting developments come out of the Discord recently. Um... You may have heard of the famous data miner Anubis. Uh, found some very important things for Let's Go. Uh, um, Anubis found some very important things for Let's Go. They also just recently deep dove into seventy-five percent and didn't get it. Um, so they basically Anubis found out the entire catch formula for us and identified every variable into a calculator that Shady can use. Oh really? <laughs> Again, breakout. No way, you got two breakouts? Yeah, this is this is this is already a reset. It's really rare because it's a seventy-five percent. You wanna you wanna reset? We're ahead on the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um <clears throat> But yeah. Um for a while, we didn't know what the catch uh, formula was or anything. Like, because all the data miners did great work identifying so many things, variables, stuff about distortions, shiny odds, and all this. Um, but they just kind of left us hanging on the catch formula. <laughs> Nobody bothered yeah. until the Nubus came along. So we learned a lot of things about catching. And uh, one of the things, the reason I brought it up is that me and Shady have had kind of headcanon completely superstition that the back striking the Shinx uh, affects the catch rate. Um, and Anubis proved us right. However, it's not as much as we thought it was. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I'm still, like, thinking whether it's actually worth the time investment to have the 5% uh, catch rate buff. 
That's right, you're, you're catching up on throwing. <laughs> yeah, so here I got an 1853 uh, trial, which is uh, like oh probably God. 30 seconds worse than I, anything I've had in the last few months. Alright, well if I needed a, a, a time advantage to beat the world record holder, that's certainly it. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot that can still happen like that. This is still the only seconds we are talking about. Like, I'm 40 seconds behind PB. And my PB, PB has minutes of time loss, so I'm not like super concerned about like missing missing estimate or something. It doesn't really like tell much about the run yet. Um, yeah, I had an 18, 14, just so. Yeah, yeah that's a pretty, pretty typical like good start. I got breakout skip, no fast semiquel, so... Yeah, I had two, two breakouts with Enrage. Two breakouts with Enrage, that's like... Yeah, enrage, uh, enrage doesn't help at all. Yeah, it's really slow. It's like the worst case scenario. I mean, I guess you could technically die to the fight if you just get infinite breakouts, but that's like looking at lottery odds. Oh, um, there may be some strategies also with that trial, um, uh, specifically for the Starly. All of those catches are guaranteed, well, the first two are. I yeah. Shady demonstrated that the Shinx is not guaranteed. <laughs> the uh, Shinx but... indeed is not. <laughs> uh, the Starly has a research task for being caught without being spotted. Um, so some people might elect to sneak up on that specific Starly because it has a guaranteed catch. Because you can spend a lot of time sneaking up on a Starly and then not catch it later. Um, and just kind of lose, you know, the time investment you put into sneaking up on the Starly. So, to mitigate that, you can just go for a guaranteed catch that is uh, snuck up on. Yeah, one of the other things that we learned about the catch formula is that, uh, them seeing you necessarily doesn't like worsen the catch rate. It's only if they start running away that like has the uh, bonus modifier for the catch rate. So as as long as they don't run like get the exc exclamation point, it's fine. The dots don't like worsen the catch rate. It just prevents you from getting the research for an unspotted catch. Also, this isn't relevant right now, but uh, every Pokemon has different criteria for what counts as being seen. Like, uh, for instance, with uh, Starly, we're mentioning if it has dots above its head at all, it is spotted, and you need to wait for the dots to go away. Yeah, However, that's what... a Pokemon like Cricketot, it can have dots above its head while it's eating, and it will not count as uh, unspotted. Or it will count as unspotted, even though it has dots. Yeah, I think that's just some jank with the system, like... I'm not sure how I... to do with it eating or writing the... Eating is like an AI modifier that is applied anytime when, well, they are eating, so... It's like, sh certainly supposed to overwrite the dots. Team. I've been using a turbo controller for the beginning of this game. A fun fact about the record that I got last night, I was like three minutes ahead leaving the like important part of the run, which is like hitting the 8500 points. But everything after that went wrong, unfortunately, and I only barely got the record by like 15 seconds or something. So it's, it's still very much beatable. I think it's also the first record ever set with Turbo. Yeah, I guess if you don't count my catch em all. Well, in 80% I know. Yeah, in 80%. So, uh, you know, the Turbo indoctr indoctrination is here to stay. There is so a lovely feature of many controllers that being snapped back. It kind of turns me sideways there when I try to craft my. Uh, uh, Pokeballs. There's like a very specific crouch cancel you want to do to uh, get rid of the stumble animation, which requires you to actually crouch and then stop running and then uh, uncrouch. And if I get a snap, yeah, 
if I get a snap back there, then I will, I'll be facing the wrong direction and I cannot talk to the crafting table and everything sucks, like, might as well not have gone for it. And it's kind of out of my control. I guess I can kind of, like, try to uh, be gentle with the stick so that it doesn't, like, maybe snap back as likely, but, yeah. Yeah, I typically do like a tiny push forward on the stick, but unfortunately on the 8-bit do, that is a, uh, you're pushing forward a country mile, apparently, when you're doing <laughs> a tiny amount. Yeah. Already, I've adjusted the dead zones to not have snapback when I use the 8-bit do pro 2. Yeah, I, I try to do that as well, but it sometimes doesn't work because the snapback is like horrible on this controller. The only thing that makes it like kind of decent is that you can actually actually adjust the dead zones, so that like helps. But yeah, sometimes I still get it. Yeah, more controllers need like uh, software like 8 do has for manually adjusting things to the way you want. Yeah, that's certainly one of the best things about this controller. Because, like, yeah. for instance, for 8 do I have an app on my phone that lets me change aspects of the controller if I don't like it. Like, I just uh, open the app and then it detects the controller, and all I have to do is press a button on the controller to sync the controller to the phone. Yeah, okay, did not get started, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. It just makes it a little harder to catch enough starlies, but... Mm. Got two wormbles, so... Okay. Yeah, so yeah, basically now we are actually starting the real part of the run, like that intro was just like getting from point A to point B, now we're getting to the research part. Which yeah, is, now like, we're the fun serious part. business getting the point A to point B, literally. <laughs> With the rival. True. So, yeah. Here I don't have a good method of hitting the Starlis before it notices me like and starts running away, so I intentionally wait for it to turn around so I can at least get a um, backstrike boost on it. Which is still less than actually hitting them before they uh, start running, but it's like close. And uh, I also didn't get the Starlis, so that's interesting. Using your phone make this a tool, this is a speedrun? Yes. Yes it does. <laughs> The catch rate on Star is really high, so the breakout is very unlucky. Yeah, I got a back straight breakout. Same. Okay. What are the odds of two Star breaking out? <laughs> and basically, since the catch rate's been found out, I get it, but I don't understand how to use the spreadsheet that uh, Anubis made, so I just asked Shady every day. Every day. Yeah, What's I figured it out. What's the odds of this happening? There will be a better post made by them, but uh, yeah, for now we have the spreadsheet and that has everything you need as long as you know how to use it. I'm going to need to catch another Shinx on day two. So here I have not need up to get the Apricorns or the Rumpels around the last waypoint because I'd have to stop for several seconds to wait them to get in. Which is time loss. One of the movement tech you can see here uh, is uh, rolling off cliffs because when you roll, it has uh, like a slowdown at the end of the animation. But if you are in the air, the slowdown doesn't apply. Yeah, I got my Shinxes at least. No issues there, unlike the first one. Another movement tech, when you throw, you can cancel the end flag by rolling, so you can get back to moving faster. I don't see a silicone here, so that's unfortunate. You got one, but it broke out. Oh, both of the Vermouth broke out, that's cringe. I'm gonna have to let that one of these gets in. I'm really unlucky here. Okay. So bad. I'm not gonna take that beauty fly since it's already aggroed. So yeah, here we go to the beauty flies to actually uh, get some levels and research done. Okay, at least it doesn't get a double turn. I was just gonna let this go and not explain it. Uh, basically, the battle formula in this game is very uh, different than the other Pokemon game. Uh, this battle formula prioritizes the level and the defenses more than any other uh, yeah. game in the series at this point. Here we see a stun spore. Which means that I don't need to do a rollout later, because it's already the research. 
And I got fully parried, but that doesn't really matter since it's gonna die to the burn now. Okay, that's really bad. I got clip, like clipped by one of the beauty flies, so it's gonna like ruin the backstrike chance for me. So I'm gonna just disengage. In a run, I would have gone for it, like YOLO, but in a marathon, I want to make sure that I don't die here. Okay, I got two silk games from my one. So, so uh anytime we say pog setup, uh we are referring to um, I can actually uh, hold off on the volume of Starly because I got uh Sophie's finish now. So I definitely have enough ones to leave. Um Anytime we say Pog setup, we're referring to the optimal combination of Wurmples being evolved, um, which is uh, two Cascoons and a Silcoon. Uh, because um, it starts, first of all, with the. I don't call it a, I don't call it a bug, I want to call it a feature. That um, anytime a Pokemon has a task for evolving, it just has to participate in an evolution. So when I evolve Wurmple, I get points for um, evolving Wurmple and points for evolving Silky, even though only one evolution is really um, So, with that being said, uh, Wurmple, or Silky only needs two evolutions, two caught, and then two caught during the day, which is exactly what I just did. I caught them, or I obtained two during the day, and I evolved so that's done for Silcune. So the issue with Cascune is that Cascune requires evolution to be done. Or instead of being caught during the day, Cascune has a task for being caught during the night, and we'll never be here during the day. So I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, to subsidize that, where I'm done with Silcoon now, it takes a little bit more to finish Cascoon. I would need to evolve a Cascoon into Dusthawks if I were to get the exact same configuration I just got, but with uh, Cascoon. Now, um, if I had caught that Silcoon on day one, the one I ran past and failed to catch, um, if I only got one Wurmple turned into Silcoon, I could have just evolved that Silcoon into Beautifly, and that would be two evolutions for Silcoon. That would be the two evolutions, two caught, two caught during the day still, that I have right now, but just obtained a little bit differently. Um, so it's basically, just to make it not complicated, basically it's the only way to finish, or it's the best way to finish both Cascoon and Silcoon. Because um, one thing we haven't explained about the points, research points, is that you get a 100 point bonus when you get a Pokemon to rank 10. So it's very, very, very important to get as many Pokemon to rank 10 as you can. Yeah, we aim for 39 in the run. That's like what happens to be like the optimal amount. It doesn't exactly get you to 8500, like if you do like 39 times 200, it's not, not quite there, but then we just get the rest of the points from like uh, extra extra tasks that don't contribute to finishing a uh, entry. But yeah, here I am like, probably like a minute and a half behind a like uh, yeah, ideal pace. My, uh, my OBS is some reason. I should be back. Oh. Sorry about that tech. I don't know what happened. Your mine is fine. Oh god, the colors and colors uh, on your screen. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty so yeah, at least I didn't die uh, on the day one beautify fights. So that's that's good. Like I, I'm still like. Less than a minute behind my PB because my PB actually had some issues there as well. And now, if I don't lose a minute to Benny and I get an e e equal run to my uh, PB, I actually get the world record here. So, yeah, let's do that. Opium. Okay, at least I'm level 18, so I should have no problems in this fight. Looks like the speed on your end is still like 
traveling a little. Yeah. Uh, wow. I haven't dropped any frames. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe, maybe an issue with the RTMP or something, I don't know. Yeah. Anyways. Um... Just to summarize the fight, uh, I had to fight Akari's Pikachu and I just used Flame Wheel because I got all the way to the Okay, I outspeed the Pikachu, I get Flame Wheel, that's a guaranteed one shot and that's the fight. We are actually allowed to lose this fight, but since it's so fast to win, we just go for the easy win and uh, avoid having to party manage. You'll see that a lot later in the run, though, where since we are allowed to lose the run, we just deposit everything except for like some one week Pokemon, and then uh, we hope that we die quickly. Okay, good to know that Tech is on the issue. Oh, looks like it's working now. Yeah. yeah, it looks good now. Just me as yesterday. Why? Why do I roll into the gate? Well, that's because the start of the roll is faster than running, and well, you only have to start before the cutscene triggers. I think I saw that from Blood Dirk, and I realized like that's genius. Okay, so here we finally get the Bidoofs. Last time we didn't get them because we actually needed uh, uh, something else to go into our party, like Starly or Vrempel. Yeah, let's just pretend that I didn't have to use the Spoiler for Corman actually. <laughs> yeah, that sometimes happens. It's definitely the right play to use one. It's it's only one and it's pretty much a guaranteed catch after that. Well, not really, since how the catch formula works, but... Okay, you little... Come on. Starl is not being friendly today, unfortunately. I'm only at 3. No, I'm not even going for it. So I have to get 3 more with that. That one's people needed him somewhere. Yeah. It ran really quickly. I mean, it just broke out and ran. How much I can do? I think I have a good number ish. I don't know. So, uh, from here, now I'll have to explain about this particular day. You can run on this rock and look from high above. Yeah, you can move around inside that. Open. I always tend to run here because it's funny. And I just kind of run down and be in front of the Munchlax to assert dominoes. The setup we do with the moves on Luxio is important because those are used for re uh, finishing its research. Uh, I go for Bite Bite Thunderfang instead of other way around because if I get a crit on the Thunderfang, it would finish the battle quicker, which probably sounds good if you're a speedrunner, but in this case it's not really desirable because you wouldn't be getting all the research done. Yeah, there's several fights you do not want crits on, which sounds yeah. weird, but... Move goals are very important. Uh, yeah. you don't have otherwise, to you have to, to do it fast. Yeah, otherwise you have to fight some random wild poke. I mean, it's not the worst, but it's, it's still faster to actually have it yeah, like intended. Yeah, let's see how cricket out goes. Since we learned about catch rates, cricket out has like a two fifty five catch rate, which is like the maximum value present in the game. So surely this is gonna be easy. And one for three. Starly is also really high. Yeah, 
thank you so much to Anubis for doing that. That cricket does this like experience tremendously. The other side of the world. Okay, no issues with Creek Adults. I'm gonna go for these extra Sarlias here since I'm low. I actually got them all, so I don't need to care about Starly anymore. Even though the start was really bad, I actually got, got them in the end. And the ore is shaking, that's unfortunate. I would have wanted to go for that oh, to get some Black Tumble Stones. Somehow that was a slow crouch. Yeah, I mentioned in the very beginning that when you get slow crouch, you would actually lose a few times. And, you can if that's and uh, I haven't pointed out an example, but that was certainly one. Well, I got for the first crouch of the run, I got a slow crouch. I don't think I've gotten one since, but yeah. Okay, I have a classic. fast enough Quilava because uh, I didn't get outsped by the first 21 le uh, level 21 Beautifly and then outsped Cricketune just now, so. Yeah. That's a pretty fast Quilava then, if you outspeed it. I couldn't get the 4 second time save in the beginning of the game. Okay, game. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, that's a much harder one to hit. You need, like, nearly perfect speed. I must have, like, plus speed 1 EL or something. That, that's my guess. Anyways, this is weirdier. This is going to become our best friend in like 10 minutes. Yeah. Weirdier absolutely... I want to say breaks this game. But weirdier... Because it's an intentional mechanic. Yeah, because weirdier is the closest thing to, in this game we have to a glitch. <laughs> uh, he can practically... If you try hard enough, he can practically travel up any True. Uh, and we're going to be taking advantage of that as much as we can. Okay, I'm gonna go for the safe strong style here because it gives me points and, and that troll I don't like it. Especially in a marathon. Also, a uh, weird ear is, uh, depending on who you ask, Shen affectionately refers to it as the bike. And uh, it's not incorrect. <laughs> yeah, so the strong, th strong style there loses like 3 seconds, but it's good to be safe. That's research. You know, yeah, it's 10, you, it's you, 10 uh, points. Yeah, you missed getting out of uh, Coronet good by 10 points, so... Yeah, <laughs> my run would <laughs> be like a minute faster. Yeah. Yeah, I missed missed the goal by 10 points. That's like, uh, well, as close as it gets. So, I think I'm like a little under two minutes behind or something. Yeah, Pokeballs are a new invention in history. Just, uh, just that clear. Oh, it's yeah, true. Videos. Oh boy, I get to have my own folder for my uh, replay buffers for for PSR. Right. I actually fixed that when I was doing the initial setup, just because of the local recording. If I didn't, ha if I hadn't done that, I would have run out of probably my SSD space because I'm really bad with making space on my PC. Okay, so I'm gonna go get those Pokeballs that I deposited, uh... Oh, I guess I'll pull, pull away my potions, too. <laughs> Oops. Good I mean, right. you're supposed to do that. True. I've, I've lost my... Eventually. Wait, where are these people? I gotta, I gotta keep making replays. <laughs> User videos replay. Where is it? Oh, it's... Oh, they're here. I'm so dumb. Okay, I found it. I was looking for another folder in my videos, but it's literally just pasting it to videos. Yeah. Oh my god, they're .mkv files. I've made a mistake. What's the... what's wrong with that? I, I use that like format. It. What I what do like you it. use then? I, I, I could probably open it with VLC, no problem. Okay, so what I'm talking about, just for context, I realize I'm not giving any context. Um, OBS has a feature called the Replay Buffer. Uh, that lets you basically save, um, like, you know, as long of a clip as you want from your stream. Oh, uh, I'm going this way. I'm the 
throwing and letting you catch up. Uh, okay. Let's you save a clip of basically any, any length you want to your computer. And uh, I scroll through the research very, very quickly in game and then leave and then make a replay buffer and then scroll through it slowly in a video uh, viewing program. Um, since recording's mandatory for all RCS speedruns to be submitted to the leaderboards, I figure you might as well let the recording work for you, you know, take advantage of it. Yeah, it's similar to taking a screenshot of your stats for IVs in the other games. Yeah, it's, it's also, I mean, the simplest way to put it is that it's literally just a local Twitch clip. Yeah. I've been trying to reduce the amount of uh, times I actually go through the research just to save a couple of seconds because most of the time I'm like pretty pretty like confident in what I have but sometimes when I'm like not sure and in certain areas like in Crimson and uh, maybe here on day three I will always check it. I do have a heavy video if that's good. But now I'm curious what's wrong about MKV? It just wasn't what I was expecting to see. <laughs> it opened perfectly fine. I just wasn't At worried. least for me, the OBS said that MKV is the only format that like kind of supports recovering the video if you like crash. So let's say you have a crash during credits, you don't lose the entire run. That's why yeah, I, I use it. Before does that by using before as good. So yeah, okay. make good decisions. Never had this happen, but it's a thing, I guess. It's not that I hate MKV, it's just like my fifth favorite video format or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a relatively recent format, I think, because most old players don't quite play well with it. Mm. But VLC works if you update it. The reason why I had trouble with it initially was because I was using like a 10 year old release of the program, so yeah. So we're being introduced to Adamant and Aria here. Um, and uh, we're being told we have to go try to talk some sense into Leon because there's a rampaging Cleavor uh, in Obsidian Fieldlands. Uh, Cleavor, for those that haven't played this game, is the new evolution for Scyther, uh, Bug Rock. Um, it is one of the ten Pokemon blessed by Arceus. Arceus, I guess. Yeah, the nobles. Uh, is it the Finnish person or the American person? <laughs> yeah, I, I cannot really <laughs> like uh, tell because uh, uh, I'm not listening to the stream, nor am I like in charge of the is audio the balancing. Person or the other one. record holder or Mr. Trying his best? World record holder aka two minutes behind in the race. <laughs> Nobody's judging you, you're fine. Let's just the Shinx breakout scope you. God, I love when the Wurmple and Starly are like stacked on one another in the menu. I gotta go sneeze! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you know, because like I closed my mouth right when it came out and like it blew out like kind of like a <laughs> in a weird fashion. That was interesting. Literally, that was like when you uh when you blow air through your lips when you have like a very thin opening in your lips. That's what happened there. I promise I'm not an elephant, IRL. Yeah. Cartoon, buddy. All right, so I didn't get a stolly, so I need to do a slightly different party management here. Normally we take two Vermples here, but now I need to take uh, instead of that a stolly and a Vermple. I have split Vermple Evo, so I could get the infamous fog setup. You fellas. Early is fine, I don't need to care about it anymore. Although my black tumbles don't count, this is not good because one of the doors was shaking. I'm getting the weird thing where it stops me from moving after I do the roll. Okay, that's a bit sad, I'm gonna run right into that barrier and blame you for it. Happens more often than you think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
the cricket tune. I'll try to catch, since it might come in handy later. Didn't get, that's fine, I don't care. Okay, I don't know if my Bidoof uh, is actually hit, or if I have a heavy Bidoof. Something happened there, and uh, my Pokeball hit an invisible wall in there. I'm not sure what what's going on with that, but... Fortunately, I only have five Bidoos, and I don't know if I have a heavy, so that kind of sucks. Okay. I should make sure for safety I catch this third in here after I kill this side up. I'm killing the Sadek because uh, this is a another multitasking instance. This and section is pretty hard. <laughs> so basically, um, I right, we got the third uh, That was a really good day two or day three. Um, basically, Psyduck has a task for being defeated by an electric type move, and Luxio has a task for using Thunder Fang a certain number of times. So it's another instance that we might as well take advantage of. Uh, you know, two Pokemon's needs with one action. Too far and lucky. Alright, so we have a tradition in Pokemon Legends RC speedrunning. If uh, Zumi does anything significant, we're gonna pop off. <laughs> but uh, it's not likely, because it is Gumi. Yeah, this tradition comes from Super Mr. Dungeon speedrunning. Where me and Shady Bolt go from. Yeah, not, not specifically Super, super but Pokemon Mystery. Unfortunately, I need to see it. Oh, I may have missed uh, uh, I may have missed Bidu's level up or Evo. So this is kind of cringe right now. I get the boss speed just in case. Okay, finally, I got of course something. Yeah, there's like no Psyduck here, but it's fine since I need to do recession day for anyway. I definitely do because I did the double under on a yeah. so I don't. I'm actually at rank nine on Palava. So you're fighting is good now because uh, you can still walk while you're fighting. We don't have the weird there yet, so it doesn't lose much time over just running. Yeah, we literally get it tomorrow. Bidoof isn't ready to evolve yet. This is a strange run. Okay, I did, and not I in did a good way. Yeah, the BDF was extremely low level going into the forest, so I was like, maybe it's not at 16 yet, because, I don't know, like I said, experience is just down in general. Let's see what this last one was. I only need to evolve the Wormhole because I need to finish Wormhole. I don't really care what it is. I guess I want it to be a casking. Nah, I got another silk Okay, that's fine. Uh, only by nature of uh, okay, so Silcoon has a task for one caught, two caught, and four caught. Uh, so that third one does nothing for me there, but I still get the evolution points, so it's whatever. So, like, if I would have gotten Cascoon, that would have been my first Cascoon, obviously, so that's 20 more points than I would have gotten there. No big deal. So you're done with the research, right? Yeah, I'm ranking up here. Yeah. I'm probably not ranking up, but I might be. It doesn't really matter. I just know that I need to get Psyducks because I only have two spawns. That's, like... Well, technically, I can get them in Crimson, but I also need to get Bidoofs, most likely. Unless I have a Heavy already, which I don't know, but I'll find it out in a second, since I get to look at my uh, research. Yeah, it's just most optimal to re rank up here, because you're right next to Selene. Yep. Um, but I only caught three working. things on this day. Like, how is that even possible? 
the intense evolution sequence. Yeah, <laughs> for a speed run, it's actually surprisingly, you know, one of the least intense moments of the runs where we can actually relax because there's so yeah. much going on. Especially before we uh, allow Turbo, or use it on the main board. Uh, you it was literally the only reprieve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like the only time you can actually relax, except for like very certain cutscenes. I've been I've been mashing since uh, since I made my Pokeballs for the first time, so not nah, couldn't be me. That's a, that's a personal choice, honestly. Yeah. It's not my fault that the Pro Controller is the best controller for this game. <laughs> Oh, right. I don't get to see anything about Bidoof because I didn't catch one. Nice. Well, you may not have gotten to see anything about Bidoof if you didn't go from 4 to 6, also. I wasn't Unless paying it was... attention and Unless I was thought that I could rank up. Okay. I was trying to look at my research, but yeah. Alright, I mentioned... <laughs> ranking up there and it probably made you do that. Well, I'm somehow only 9 seconds behind PB, but like my PB was really slow at the start. Yeah, you've been catching up to me a little bit. I think I just skipped one evolution and I'll oh, yeah, do it yeah, later yeah. probably. Yeah, I'm not I gonna go. Could have, uh... Sorry, I could have caught one Wurmple unspotted and skipped the third evolution, but I didn't really realize that, and I just didn't want to bother with it. Mm. Especially for a marathon. Yeah. Kind of same deal here, like, I could kind of hope that I have a heavy Bidu, go for the um, catch, uh, skip, and do uh, Psyduck in Crimson. But since I want to be safe here, I'm just going to catch everything I can in here. The catch skip is basically when you don't catch anything in an area, you don't get the sum summary screen for doing catches, which saves like, I don't know, maybe a little a over lot. five seconds. It saves a significant amount of time in this game. Yeah. We, don't, we don't have any glitches in this game, I want to reiterate. Most Pokemon games are run, ran 90% glitchless, but like this one we literally have yeah, no choice. Or, or like, <laughs> or like any, any glitches that are even remotely useful. There are glitches in this game, like there's one that's yeah, or something, but there's no Yeah, and there's like a hyper speed glitch, but it's uh, not viable in runs. Oh my god, yeah, the speed glitch. I forgot about that. Oh, that was, that was <laughs> yeah, we were trying to route so like this, so <laughs> there's no way. Bidoof is level 5. Okay, that's gotta be no heavy then. Still no heavy. I did not get the range. No one was surprised. Right. I mean, I guess I'm not evolving my B barrel then. Thank you, Wanli. I'm actually gonna get this backup deposit because of uh, the fact that one of them was shaking. I'm kinda bad at getting that because I'm not used to it. finish Quilava for me. Um, I could have also done an alternative. Uh, oh, I actually said no to starting Cleavor. Oops. Oh, catching up, Pog. More like that's <laughs> the time. Up. I've been, I've been making the time I lost. Like for a while. <laughs> that's the time I lost to uh, actually trying to rank up too early. Um, there was an alternative strat I could have done where I didn't get any research, but I do need to finish uh, uh, Quilava like because I didn't do a strong agile move on the first one. So my here, is only right nine. Here there's a range. You can go for quick attack into flame wheel, and since quick attack gives you priority, it uh, means that uh, Lazian will get one less move off and save, saving some time, but obviously quick attack does much less damage. So the range is probably like 50% if you're level 19, and I don't I didn't want to go for it here for safety. Level 20 makes it much better, but yeah. 
can't always have that. Yeah, um, it's like at your base speed bracket, uh, Glaceon sees the opportunity to use two moves, but then when you use quick attack, it's like, well, like, I can't catch him. I, I should not even bother. <laughs> so, yeah. Glaceon just won't even try to get the double move at all. Yeah, so they, for Cleavor, uh, it's been hard to explain while I'm playing it, except I can literally explain something else while I was doing it, so it's... <laughs> um, basically for Cleavor... Um... You gotta explain why I like it. <laughs> yeah, I'll explain it while Shady's doing it, easily. Um, basically, uh, it's always gonna be faster for every boss to just put a bomb on. Just, just start with that. Um, yeah, don't no fight them. Where... Yeah, you, they want you to use your Pokemon when they're stunned like that in the middle of the fight, but it's always going to be faster than Pokemon. Um, yeah, he now, a Cleaver crashed into a wall, so I have ready for his box. Yeah, so when Cleaver does his little dash attack at you, um, he brings down his claws or his axes, like from a higher point, and he will actually hit the wall before it hits you. So you can get between him and a wall. And then for this little spinning phase where you make a little cloud, um, you can just slowly back out of it, uh, out of range, and still hit him. And that's faster than diving. You want to dive as little as possible in this, basically. Um, you want to just be throwing bombs literally as much as possible. Like, any dives you do are going to lose you time, obviously, because, uh, you know, anytime you're spend spending diving, you're not throwing bombs. <laughs> it's good to minimize that wherever you can. So yeah, I didn't get a heavy bit of to my knowledge, so I unfortunately have to uh, not evolve my bit of into the barrel because that would be a waste of time since I wouldn't be able to finish it anyway. Yeah, that me means that I need to use a Psyduck on the next area and I'll absolutely completely gonna forget about it, so yeah, we'll I'll see I'll try my best that. to remind you. Thank you. Last time I forgot, and uh, I still had the Bidoof in the party, so I just had to evolve it and teach Water Pulse, which was extremely slow. So, yeah, I so the you shins. may be wondering, oh, that's, that's, that's certainly a fake gold. <laughs> uh, you may be wondering why I withdrew a Shinx, and why I deposited the rest of my party. Uh, we're not actually done with Shinx yet. I kind of just glossed over it like we were done, but it's like the one Pokemon from very, very early on that we are not done with yet. Uh, to finish yeah. Shinx optimally, um, we're going to try to get three quick attacks while we're doing fights that we are meant to lose. So while the enemy is breaking our hearts and not killing us immediately, um, you know, we, we get a turn every time it doesn't do anything, you know. Uh, I already breaked that. What am I doing? Okay. Um... So let's say on this next fight, it's a Mime Junior. So let's say it goes for Hypnosis or I don't think it, it does have Iron Defense. I can't remember. If it uses something other than Zen Headbutt, I'm going to get a turn. So I'm going to choose Quick Attack so that I can get that out of the way while I'm waiting to die. Basically. Yeah. So here I go up because I didn't evolve my star yet like I'm usually supposed to, but it actually makes no difference in the run. I just evolve it later now. That makes me look like difference. I'm closer. It makes a slight ah. difference. You get a, we didn't mention it at all, but it's probably... A, I've heard it's a thing in the Pokemon games, but I haven't noticed it. Um, you get a EXP bonus of, uh, I think it's 1.2 times? 20%? Yeah, you do get the bonus for like gaining experience when you're unevolved. What I meant yeah. that I was used, supposed to evolve it at the end of the area after all the experience. I'm just going to do it at the start of the next area. There's no experience to be gained in between oh, here, so it doesn't really matter. I guess, okay, yeah, I never go go for the evil after that, but yeah, that's true, you could get a tiny bit of extra oh, EXP from the one catch. Read, the way your notes read, I thought that's how you did it. I thought you literally evolved right before the fight. Yeah, that's in the notes, and I guess, yeah, I thought about it, but then I never actually did that in my own runs, so, oop. <laughs> Anyways, if you had a Kaskin and you are going to evolve it into Dust Talks, you would do it here. But technically, um, this is optimal. It's nighttime. Because this is the this is the best chance you're gonna get, the only chance you're gonna get to be, have it be nighttime uh, before the next area. There is one more area, two more areas that we're gonna be spending in nighttime, but they're for not for a long time. So. Okay. 
I think I had a good amount of stones. I checked you it. You basically caught up. What was your feeling? Have you evolved star yet? I've evolved both my starlies. Well I'm then. With evolutions right now. Yeah, I don't think I've evolved either. That's actually kind of dumb because I need to take the other one too. Oh, so this is my best friend Ginter, by the way. Uh, that we're about to be meeting. Um, Ginter is a salesman here for the Ginkgo Guild, and he sells three random items um, that are one very very good, just package deals, and two they're cheaper than the crafting components for each of these items. Uh, I got Hopa Berries and Heavy Balls. Yeah, let's see what we get from Ginter. It's decent what you got. Yeah, pretty good. He can sell you a, a set of stealth sprays, in which case you don't have to talk to Thule right next to him. Um, but because I did not get the stealth spray set, I did have to buy the uh, bug wards. But I did get Hopo Berries, which is the other crafting component for stealth sprays. And then the heavy balls, I was gonna have to make those anyway, but now I don't have to make them. So I save on uh, Black Tumblestone and. Uh, actually, I don't know how good that is. Because <laughs> I, I didn't really need to save any Black Tumblestone. Yeah, I get to save the regular Pokeballs, so that's something. I don't need to buy them for full price now. Mm, I don't know if I want to buy them or not. I'm probably not going to, because I have 30 heavy balls. I'm probably going to use those in this area. Yeah, you have. if you get any Pokeballs, you don't need to buy uh, the regular Pokeballs. If you don't get well, anything just... from the interior, you just kind of want to do them. Yeah, the problem is that heavy balls uh, are very low range, so I'll have to get cl up close and personal with any mm -hmm. Pokemon I want to catch. But I usually do that anyway, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, it's better for the targeting in this game to just get close and not worry about it. Okay. We have to aim with a defense. freaking joystick and it's annoying. You can just go close and get the other target off and not worry about it. I got one quick attack. Now and from here, uh, now from here, if every fight I die immediately, I'm just going to evolve Shinx. Because basically every time that I die immediately, I'm essentially saving like 13 seconds or so. Or several seconds. To the yeah, point see. where... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, let's see how my Shinx goes. How many turns was yours? Uh, he did Iron Defense and then so I got one quick attack off. Okay, it's pretty pretty good then. Yeah. As I was saying, um, if I only get that one quick attack I just got, I'll end up evolving Shinx, since the amount of time I will have saved from not uh, having any more turns and optional battles, I can still evolve and still be net positive on well, I'm getting our iron defense into hypnosis. This Maybe all is... three, though. Uh, I'm getting all three, probably. Well, it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna get it in the next fight, then. So, Jinx will be done for me, that's good. But I'm just gonna lose even more time, unfortunately. So, yeah. My party is gonna look completely different to what it's supposed to in the next because I need to take the extra party that I forgot to evolve and, and then I need to, to take, take a side up. You need yeah. to take side up. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's gonna have to wait for a while though because I need to do the fight first and then I can actually get my party. So I'm not sure. Should I go for a bit of catches here in hopes of a random? Heavy. I wouldn't I wouldn't overcommit to it, but if you see one, you know, toss a ball, why not? Yeah, sure. No different from trying to catch anything else, like a random Ralts or... or yeah, Charlie. kinda. You just go for a uh, 15% stun drop per random catch. That's usually the best thing you can get from them. Plus, plus like 20 points, but I guess that's not the case with Bidoof since it's already caught. You already have six? Yeah, uh... Yeah, I, I have, I think, I had five on the previous day and then I went for more catches, if I recall correctly, although they might have broken out, I don't think they did, though. Okay, Togepi used Calm Mind here, so I did get my third quick attack, and then it's gonna kill okay. me. So I guess we kind of, if I don't get a Calm Mind, I can actually catch up a little. But yeah, yeah as I'm, soon as I'm I get... Evolve your Starly. Yeah. 
I mean, I wouldn't go into the battle to select Starly and not notice that I haven't evolved it. Surely. Surely, surely that's never happened to anybody, right? Uh, it might have happened to you, I don't know about that. Yeah, it has <laughs> happened to me. <laughs> fights in this game you're able to just die to, which we didn't always do in the run. Nice crit. Thank uh, for you. example, the Volo fight was one we didn't die to. there but uh, it's too late it's too late and I no longer care Pikachu is like 40 points far to catch right now the only problem with Pikachu is that it doesn't have enough modifiers to be worth it or enough uh, enough random tasks yeah I think we did get a viewership boost from being in the what is currently the general Pokemon category on Twitch. <laughs> Just good. Twitch allows all the Pokemon streamers to stream in the series category, which is uh, discoverability uh, at the cost of discoverability and speedruns. Anyways, uh, for yeah. this Toxic Croak, uh, <laughs> If I go first, I'm just gonna air release it twice, but I did not. I'm gonna hope I don't die. I did not get crit. I'm gonna agile air release and strong, or regular air release. Oh yeah, this is for your viewership, yeah. Yeah, I'm certainly not complaining. Probably meant like more in general about runs mm -hmm. of the game. Yeah. I understand the criticisms of Arceus as a speedrun. I, I wish it was less boring at times too. <laughs> but I think the exciting thing is worth watching for everyone. Like, because every area you do is super exciting and. Cringe Carnivine Breakout. You can go for another one, right? If you go for another stun. How many stuns do you have? Uh, enough. I mean, I stunned it twice anyway. Oh, you stunned that one twice? What? I mean, I've done the other one normally, but I can go to that again, since I have to catch it straight into my party anyway. I mean, that I have to detour there after this battle. Uh, I don't think that first one ate. Oh, the second one ate. Oh, did he? Okay, thank god. I must have caught like the exact frame at 8. But if I die, no, I have a second star raid, yeah. Oh yeah, world is going on too. Yeah, this oh, is yeah, the ring sure. rush. Lucky, unlucky. Might have been technically an optimal to see that skill, but it's fine. Actually, no, I have one star one of those. That's certainly optimal, because the best I can get is uh, my Carnivine being a large, which would mean I can skip um, one stun, one kill, which means I'd be exactly where I am right now. I was watching a TCG match and I saw like uh, shady dealings like nonstop from a, a whatever Sobble's Evolution it's called. And I saw everyone like just spamming Arita, which I'm glad that Arita is a popular card in TCG. <laughs> I don't know what Arita does, but I'm, I'm, I was happy to see Arita that many times. <laughs> okay, so here I need to go again for the Carnivine kind of editor here. Hoping for the best. If it doesn't get in, then my catch rate is gonna be actually bad. Because the stunning gives a triple multiplier. Okay, I got it. Cool. And it's in my party, so I can use, use the um, Acid Spray strat later in the Rosalina fight that's coming up. Oh my god, I got scared to death just now. I thought I didn't have stealth sprays.
Yeah, now I'm quite far behind G again because of the evolutions I did, but that's fine. That was how it was supposed to be. Maybe from the moment, I, yeah, I from, from the moment that Shinx broke out twice. Nestedirza. Oh, that one is unspotted. That one didn't even get caught. Right, cool, I got a second one. I don't know if it's unspotted or not. I really like to use the three citrus berries that we are given for free to get them out of my bag. Not a bad idea. Better since I'm going back here again. Why are you that far away? Okay. Oh my yeah. god, that was terrible. The alpha just went like super far away and chose not to eat. The okay, first instance of stairs spray here, we get the Cricketunes. Uh, it has an unspotted catch, so as long as they get in, it's like 60%, uh, I think. If you're paying super close attention, you'll also notice that the Crick seems are extremely high level. Yeah, they are over leveled. It gives us a lot of EXP for the upcoming fight, which is good. And I got the cringe alpha hurt. No, me. Yeah, I got it too. I came back and I somehow got an unspotted modifier on the computer. So. Even though for some reason they always keep unspotted. Yeah, he's doing ring around the rose. You get the berry. Yeah, I can't do this. Can't do this right Didn't get Teddy's, it broke out. Thank god, okay. So catching his brother didn't really work him. Alright, that's lost one. Alright, I caught two uh, hippo hippopotasses, so I'm gonna need to um I'm gonna catch one in area five, or area four. No be do to only be barrows. Area four. Dying of cringe right now. Yeah, so at the battery is too shady. I threw my three berries, but for some reason the alpha like ran all the way down to the water and didn't eat, and then it came back like, oh, there's the berry, and the berry was gone by the time it came back. So I just go all the way down. Did you even get that video? Ursula went first before Carnivine. Interesting. That happens. Not my game. Keep getting that. I think I was supposed to switch there. Oops. It's like hard to switch in your run history. Uh, it, it's a gamble. It can be really fast or it can be really bad depending on your speed. I ah, see. Good old Peggy gamble. Uh, this should not kill, but if it does, that'd be kind of neat. I think I'm gonna finish stuff with the lava. Lava flame whale should do the trick. Yeah, he probably is not oh, done. Not so, um, I mentioned earlier, but, uh, yeah, nothing really matters other than the different stats and the levels of Pokemon when it comes to damage calculation and the power of the game. Turn my phone for the room. But uh, Ursula Luna is a boss. It is one of the bosses of all time that they could possibly put in front of us. This monster has 130 base defense, 130 something attack. It's an absolute menace, and is an early game boss for some unholy reason. Yeah, this Carnivine is really good because this gets us 20 research points and it gives it that defense debuff, which means that we can actually kill it. Gamble time. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea since it's a Psyduck. I, I, I probably made a mistake. Okay, it just went for Baby Dolly, which is kind of still bad. Oh, it's raining. You're gonna get a water... water thing. Oh wait, it doesn't work like that in this game. <laughs> yeah. They changed the way the weather works, so they, they got rid of the buff and they kept it. Yeah, that just kills without a creep. Psyduck is so much worse, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, that's just... Hope that I get 
I don't know why I send up the lower HP win, I guess in hopes of getting a double turn, nope. I mean, I'm gonna have to use both and I'm gonna lose a minute here. Yeah, the Psyduck is not a viable strat, I don't think, unfortunately. So you're kind Never. of forced to evolve the Beedle, and that's that's one of the reasons why I like to get to that required money in the route, but... You're not necessarily required, you can catch a 15 in the barrel and you're sitting. Yeah, it's hard and luck based. Though. I mean, we say required, but like, the only downside to catching up the barrel that's above level 15 is that um, it's not going to have water pulse. You'll have to teach a water pulse manually, but it takes 10 seconds, so... The two new status effects? Um, we've already seen Drowd yet. Shady got hypnosis. Oh, yeah. Right? Yesterday on my world record run, we were having a race actually to start it with. It was around this point in the run where Hog just quit because he couldn't. Want to I, keep uh, going. so yeah, Fog I cannot do the same a... here. Fog I have a worse run than what you had. <laughs> I, I I haven't seen any fog in your run yet. <laughs> it's worse like, in every other way though. Um, but yeah, Fog uh, is a 3% weather condition in Obsidian Fieldlands, and yesterday uh, I got it right before the Glaceon fight, and uh, I missed all of my moves, but thank god Glaceon has Swift that never misses. <laughs> yep. I lost a lot. You cannot even benefit up... from the Fog. Sometimes I when you up, get Fog, uh... it actually saves time, because the enemy misses, but yeah, not in that case. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something. I don't know. I Here, could have done well if I kept after going all this time loss, I still need to go for backup teddies. Okay, let's see. Because I didn't get them. Oh. If I had one more stun, I could do stunky here. That's fine, I'm just gonna wait. I love stunky. Really? So that was really slow. The worst splits ever. I mean, if I look at my worst comparison, it's gonna be saying like I'm nine minutes ahead of it because, well, we used to do way more in this split in like the olden days. We used to cross the river, we used to do everything on the meadow there, like Petty Little and stuff like that. But yeah. That was close. This split has gotten so much faster with the rerouting. I almost knocked that Tangler right in the noggin. <laughs> okay, let's see. Have I even done everything yet? Okay. Looks rather good. In terms of like finishing stuff actually. But the pace. Oh no. That's that's so bad. Uh, well, you, you'll be able to finish Rhyhorn, you're fine. You'll be able to get out, but it's, uh, it's monk ass for sure. I mean, I'll do Carnivine and Rhyhorn. Oh, yeah, true. I, I'll okay. be able to get out. I yeah, no worry replay. about that. I hope I made a replay. There were some things there I definitely wanted to check, so I didn't get to... I did make one. VLC's current is not working well at all here on this uh, setup for some reason. Like, I cannot, I can barely look at my research here. Yeah, I have the same issue just now. I don't know what's different about this. Nice. Oh, uh, you. Okay. Uh... But I saw that Cricket Tune is done, so that's all I need to know here, really. Okay. 
with true PSP. That's cringe. So basically, sometimes they don't eat, and that's RNG. That was insanely weird. I am dropping frames. That sucks. Okay. Yeah, for some reason, VLC's not scrubbing. Oh, yeah, it way. doesn't work. It must be the MKV. Well, I'm using MKV on my own. I know, so. I know, I'm just... I'm looking for a for a scapegoat here. Okay, I knew I didn't finish Pachirisu. I'm finishing Pachirisu later. Or I'm gonna plan to rather. Yeah, Frostbite would be very, really good for Pokemon in general. Like, they should definitely keep it. This phrase is fringe, and fringe for generations. Like, there's no reason it should have around as long as it is. Yeah, I So, uh, we didn't really mention it on the Cleavor fight, but, um, when the... When the noble Pokemon does that little roar up in the air and shouts at that, it is completely immune. So what we do is we throw bombs into the air so that they land on the noble right when it becomes vulnerable again. And basically just to efficiently do damage. Because we can only throw bombs so fast, so we might as well get as many active bomb hitboxes out there as possible, ready to land on the noble when it's done being immune. I see anything pseudo Voodoo. There's gonna be. <laughs> I love how pseudo sleeps. There's one noble in particular we're gonna try to avoid that uh, shout. Yeah. Gonna be in a while. So when there's something on the ground, the Pokemon tries to pick it up instead of trying to break the bush. Didn't even get us done. Yeah, that, that that almost happened to me. Well, what happened to me was uh, I accidentally missed a spoiled on Rhyhorn and had to basically empty out my inventory to finish Rhyhorn. My inventory on stuns, anyway. Um, uh, hold on, I'll explain that a second. Got a menu. Sorry about the 15 FPS on my feed. I can't do anything about it. I don't know why it's. I don't know if it's on my internet or on the server or something in between. God, I am one away from again to refill. Wait, I think. Okay, yeah, I only caught 13 on the first day. Ginter oh. uh, restocks once you catch 20 Pokemon. Oh my god! The last time he had a stock. That's it there. I had a really poor time dodge. When it's becoming evening in Crimson, you know that your run is really bad. You know that it took way too long.
3,700 is not a great amount of research, but it's good enough for sure. I mean, it's not even 3,700 because there's more that I'm eligible for that I just don't have yet, like uh, like uh, Patrice and uh, Hypnotas. A Pokemon that I may sometimes have that I just don't have yet because I didn't finish them, but they will be finished. Shady, I don't know about you, but for me, uh, going back for 10 years has unfortunately become the norm. It's really rare for me. I I that's been it. my last, like, that's been like, like the last, like, the last like, whole month of runs or something for me. It's been ridiculous. <laughs> that's yeah. not movement I've practiced. That's movement I've practiced by nature of <laughs> doing this over and over again. And having that be the common thing. I have like the same amount of points to me, that's good. I don't have Pido. That's the annoying part. Yeah. I don't do know. Idea if there's right? like inter refresh. Did you do Pog setup? Nope. No. I don't know if it's even worth anything to buy that. I just have more stairs pressed than needed. I don't think there's like any point in checking in around this day. The more I think about it. Scatterbanks set. Actually no, we get scatterbanks. Yeah, we get everything with the new route where we go to the crafting shop. Speaking of like, that's sure. where I'm going right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna buy some iron from here. Uh, the reason we've averted going to this crafting shop for so long in the game's history is a speedrun is because he gives you a request the first time you come here and uh it, it was originally perceived as uh bad that he gives you yeah request. it loses like 20 seconds to go there but the thing about that is that you can buy all the resources you need so it means that you don't need to stop pop off your gear throw a pokeball and repeat that like several times for the ore deposits and go, go out of your way to grab some pop pot on the beach the time you save from that to amount to over 20 seconds. Looks like my stream is now green, so that's good. Okay. Uh, it's just gonna be kind of weird for right now, I guess. I didn't have enough money to afford uh... A lot of uh, bug words. So I think I get to make five more stuff. I can always buy more if I need to later. Also, I didn't buy 21 ordinary berries. I already had eight on me. So I, should, I just bought two more. I guess the strategy in a marathon run would be to just go for every bug and not skip anything and then you just kind of play it safe, because if you leave something for the end of the run, then not getting it is bad. Yeah. Even yeah, though it could really be optimal in a PB attempt. What happened with Hippo? I mean, your Hippo in Coronet is better than in Crimson, so I don't care. Just as, as long as you have, like, have uh, progress on it, then you can finish it just fine. Yeah, I would say the feeding's definitely worse, but if you got the feeds, then the catches in Crimson aren't that bad. Really yeah, feed is, fe that yeah bad. You, you can do the feeds every time because they don't aggro until you fed them multiple times. That's what I've experienced. I was, a, I was surprised they didn't aggro because, like, I, I throw t uh, two berries at two of them and then catch one of them, and then but the other one hadn't eaten yet. It was doing Ring Around the Rosie with the berry. No, oh, that's classic. Normally, by that point, it's aggroed, but luckily it didn't. So I actually never really aggroed the whole time today. Interesting. Okay, so time for the crafting shop for me. Get the 20 iron. Uh, I don't know if I have the audio right now, but sour, please. 
<laughs> uh, you should have the audio given that you're in the lead. I didn't have enough for him. That's I'm fine. a minute ahead of my PB, which is... Yeah, that's why I shouldn't have both the stale sprays from Ginter. Just a stop of money up, honestly. Wait, you got stale sprays from Ginter? Yeah, but it's not enough for the rest of the run. So we need to buy more anyway. I mean, it lets you skip Tuli at least. At oh, it doesn't. I mean, if you got them, if you get them on day one or like crimson day one. Oh, I thought that's what you meant when you said you got bought them from Ginter. No, I got them right now, just now, like. Oh. Yeah, so I, didn't, I didn't get. I didn't get to refresh. Yeah. I only caught eight Pokemon. Not know. Whatever it was, it wasn't enough. Okay, I got me no eyes by Glaceon. This kind of sucks. Huge. But I should die to. Okay, I'm definitely dying. Yeah, and that's why I like the low level style strat here. Even if you get the little eye, you just get the star level to die. Yeah, it has to be a star early because, you know, despite the level difference, like we've said before with the battle formula, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, if you throw out like a level 5 Shinx or something, the quick attack won't kill, despite it being a level 20 Eevee using snap quick attack. I mean, but it also doesn't have adaptability in this game, so there's that. There's no abilities in this game at all. Except, uh, <laughs> there's no Love abilities that. in this game, but <laughs> Cherim still has a uh, flower, flower gift or whatever. And then uh, they still gave Regigigas slow start that poor soul. Yep. So, so here, I don't think there's like... Anything special I need to do in this run? I could have evolved a bit of here had I gotten a heavy, but I did Like, I saw one spawn and it broke out. I don't really think we went over it a ton, but there was a small shake in there from the tree. Um, so that meant there was a Pokemon in there, and if I had attacked that tree. Counter, no matter how far away I would have been. Like that. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Okay. I'm out of split right now. That's I got uh, I burned the rest of my spoils on a stun on the choke. Mm. You got a mud ball though. Yeah, at least I got that. I got baby delight okay. too. The game's not letting me catch up. You really need to get screwed over somewhere for me to have a chance here. Unfortunately. Oh my nemesis beautiful eye is certainly trying to help you, don't worry. Those are like 50% again. Most of the hard catches are like. No, it wasn't it wasn't game. a backstrike, it turned it literally the last one. Hmm. Backstrike. Who am I to get a backstrike in this game? Did I get double Vulpix? I did not, but I got two Vulpixes. Or I got Vulpix and playing now, right here, so I go for it. Alright, wait for my stealth spray to wear off. Hopefully the Vulpix has not noticed me. Because if it hasn't, I can do this. Uh, no, it didn't notice me. Okay, but the glam meow, I can feel a little bit faster at least. Uh, basically, if a docile Pokemon like uh, Bullpix has not noticed you ever, um, and you do like a little dodge here, I can stop it from eating like I'm doing with this glam meow. And um, yeah, it can be faster if it uh, you know wears off its wary status fast enough. Yeah, that's recent tech. Oh, Volpix stuff. Cool. Oh, I have like infinite stuns. That's the usual trend with bad runs. You have infinite stuns. Hopefully, I get a ma Metro Oak spawn here. Looks like not, unfortunately. 
That's gonna be a lot of things, never mind, I got one. Okay, still use Kulina in the battle. So here we go and take a slight detour to get this raspberry tree. I don't get to have a beef fly. Okay. okay. Whatever. That's still good. It's just, uh, I, I really would like a second beef fly. I can't state that enough. <laughs> Beautify is incomplete unless I get one more, which is why I'm caring so much about it. You can just evolve a silk in, but yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. It's so slow. Well, I got the bad spawn for Wolfix, but whatever I'm going for it. It hers, hears me from that far, that's not fair. Oh my god, I accidentally threw it so close. I have my cast friends, okay, I'm gonna pause the topic though. This is so bad. I should need three granules to be able to Well, I'm not getting a beautify either. Glad we're sharing this experience of not having beautify. So we can commiserate. Doesn't need to exist, I guess. Did not get the shade of gravity. Didn't mean to throw it anymore since I got, got it. Okay, I'll explain this whole section after I finish it. It's kind of intensive on the Of course, I get three beautifies now. I'm in a cutscene and I just really explain so. What, what we're doing here is, uh, we set it to evening, because we need it to be night time to catch a dark clock for the story. But uh, we don't want it to be night time yet, since there's some good research to do during daytime here, uh, being set up and collected to. So, what we set to evening, it's two minutes before it turns night. So you're on a cycle here, and it's really tight. And here Hawk is trying to feed this setup, trying to get this done right before it uh, turns um, my phone. Okay, got it. Yeah, looks like you got it. So here I'm about to do the exact same thing. I'm like two minutes behind Hawk. So let's see how it goes for me. So I need to make sure that my caster ferns are in my bag, I need to craft the crafted uh, scatter banks, which are something that Hawk is probably doing right now. It's oh, a I good caught, I caught that spot, it's almost like I had an Ultra Ball. <laughs> Alright, so, in the new section starts here for me. 
exactly at the front, the timer is running. It's paused in menus, but yeah, we don't want the menu much in speed running, of course. Oh god, that spiel randomly rolled under my uh, control, so it unfortunately got scared off by the berry. I think I just need to eat everything. This fill is done, it was cringe, but sometimes it's gotta be like that. I'm gonna skip optional catches to make it easier to get the cycle here. That was interesting. Not bad. We need to cross this reach to actually uh, not get the request back there. I have a yeah. trouble look at it here. Okay, so um a I lot didn't of scare them. Somehow I didn't uh, care them scare them. That that little chest that was next to the pirate ship, um, where Dusclops was, that has a chance to give me really good items and it gave me an ultra ball, which really helped getting the Dusclops, which we need for the story, I'd like to reiterate. Um, but I had to go back to the dust, pump, the dust skull because I noticed that I did not get points for unseen catch, even though it literally didn't have dots and was just living its best life. So uh, I did have to. Uh, I'll get it finished. Nice. Head up. That's probably not. I'll try my best, but it's about to be night. Your best is all I can ask for, Shady. Fifteen evening. If this clicks, it's in. It broke out. Literally just catch rate. Right? If I got it, it would have been that. I would have gotten it two runs in a row. Oh yeah, you can't even do the backup. No, no, no. I'd need to do like several uh, of the uh, air cutters. Yeah, I'm just gonna catch you. Oh yeah, I was looking for my scatterbang, but I haven't made them yet. This is the most stressful section of the run. Nice, I got it first ball. I guess my inventory got pushed or something because I wasn't thinking that I would have a freaking berry in my hand. Oh my god, everything can evolve. Cool. All my titties, all my chokes. And I don't need to bring in the chokes. Oh, fine. It's just, just this one, one stun. Okay, I, I unfortunately run out of great balls like this was so bad. I'm out now if it makes you feel better. So, I think I have to skip gas stuff because there's no way I'm catching them. I'm really low on the points then. How many Pokeballs do I have? That's a great question. So, as a replacement, I guess we go for bonus points on like tree flow and stuff. Getting it. Even though Drip Lone has literally a really good stat rate. I know this is a nonsensical commentary, but we're, we're really, really thinking right now because there's a lot we have to do and think about. Like, yeah, it's, points it's the hardest so. part of the run. So I need Palava, Patrick, Yeah, so I'm really like concerned about my points right now because of uh, not having the freaking uh, dust dogs. And, well, it would have been fine had I gotten Shadow done, but it's not done. It's only one call, one fed. I can look at it. Guess I can try what Shen was trying yesterday. Maybe. So we catch one during daylight and feed. That's 50 points. If we can get to 
If we can somehow get the three agile air cutters, then it's done. Or just three air cutters, one of them being agile. Pretty good time getting to, uh... Might as well get the chat out in the party you now. This is a really good time getting to Basque Legion, especially with all of my evolutions done. I don't want to get people's hopes up that this is a uh, potential world record in a marathon, but Coronet could literally ruin my life, or the rest of Cobalt, so we'll see. Especially Cobalt, because I've been actually ruining the last, uh, the fi final fight here, the final trainer fight in this area. Right, yeah, this has been bad for me as well. And part of it I can blame on Fog. You know? How do I not have enough EXP to evolve anything? Okay, so I guess by I'm not nature, getting chat out. By nature of Growlithe being the thing that I caught as a free slot, uh, I have backup with Kalama Dice now. I'll be an unreliable backup because uh, Growlithe has passed the level cap. Um, oh, that's one, one thing I can say. Um, in this game, they actually changed the way obedience works. It's not current level, it's actually met level. Um, so if I met the Growlithe under level 40, I'd be fine. But because I caught the Growlithe at level 43 or whatever it is, 40-something, not 40, that's what it is, um, it's not going to obey me. But once I rank up, no matter how high of a level I get it, it will obey me forever. So, But unfortunately, I don't really need it after this point, so... You don't have to worry about like leveling up a Pokemon that used to listen to you out of the range. Yeah, I'm gonna use my turbo to advantage and take a break here. <laughs> I probably should have done that, but I'm already like most of the way through the cutscene. This cutscene is back. long. Yeah, um, I don't. I think it was during the GDQ run. Uh, one of my commentators asked why the community runners do so well in this game. And you know, seeing the ringer that Shady's going through in this run and still adapting and doing well, um, I, I, I guess the number one trait that carries over from PMD is the fact that you have to adapt to do, to do well in the game. You have to adapt to what the game is thrown at you. You have to be ready for anything the game could possibly throw at you. Um, and yeah, it's not the same run every single time, which is that's what's all, also what Mystery Dungeon is. Uh, there's a lot of traits that make this very similar to a Mystery Dungeon speedrun. And me and Shady both come from Mystery Dungeon, so. So I need to do that poison powder um, to finish those talks. And uh, Basque Legion's, uh, I don't know, I say walking speed. Just like general non-dashing movement speed is actually still pretty fast. So, not that bad to do it on the water. We used to do it in the Ursaluna fight with a uh, Caspian we got. Um, but yeah, now it's just better to do it. Back. So it's a good thing I didn't go for Cascoon because none of my evos were ready, and that means that I didn't have space for Cascoon in my party. That's fun. Just need to get Steamy Animal. At least I got Wool Fix. I got a distortion. Yay, five minute distortion.
I am two and a half behind, minutes behind, and I haven't done any of my evos. It's unfortunate. Hey, do you want to explain tentacle? Yeah, so here are how it's going for tentacle. Those are annoying because those tend to be submerged and you cannot hit them, but those have some really good tasks. They have double points for being clean, so you really want to do them, but we uh, couldn't figure out for the longest time how to actually pull it off. But after labbing it for like an hour, I figured out that if you jump over the head, they actually usually pop out and they don't see you in the process, so that's like what we're doing there. It's like, I call it the tentacle trick shot. You kind of just jump over them and land, as you land, you throw a Pokeball in the air. For some reason, the game usually doesn't let you throw Pokeballs in the air, but if you dismount Basque and and you throw a Pokeball, it actually lets you throw it in the air. So, unfortunately, I, I have only Pokeballs, so this might be really bad. We'll see, though. Okay, this is extremely 34, I think we Sean's not perfect at this point, clearly, but it's all right. That, did you see how that went through the head? Like, that made no sense. And it broke out, now I'm not gonna get it in my party either. Unfortunately, I'm now stuck with a 32 Castro or Shellos. 32. The 34 broke out because the uh, Pokeball flew through it. Easy tentacle. Yeah, I kind of, I actually kind of nailed it. Like that was the best tentacle I've ever had in my life. Nice. I need Finian, so please exist. Finian is really bad to do because it's so spawn dependent and it's hard to tell where they are. It requires a ton of practice. Yeah, there's like certain ones that are better than others, like just not in terms of like spawn chance or anything, but there's like they have set trajectories that they swim on. And some of them come out of the water and some of them don't. Like some of them it's really almost literally impossible to catch them. Just need one more. Is it there? It is there. Just this. That was the last time you'll ever see Qualo. Pinion, done. No issues. That's, la that's what I needed for this run. Okay, I, I switched to Rotom now. <laughs> <laughs> when I open the menu, Rare thanks. Luna appearance. <laughs> it's it. I can still He's cancel. He's gotta show it. up somewhere. He's gotta. I can show still up cancel somewhere. it. It hasn't activated. I just got the false diagonal from the pro controller view that does we also allow. <laughs> Finally, something went well in my end. Okay. Boy, I hit the mud. I hit the obscure. That helps. Some left showed up for that one thing as I entered the cutscene. <laughs> um, oh, okay, uh, so unfortunately, it's raining, so that's gonna be cringe for me. Ah, I cannot go for the one hit on uh, Abu Masno because uh, rain invades my life damage. Hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. Hold on an entire second. 
punch out. Yeah. Yeah, that's just Nah. You, you, right, you don't have stab, that's why right. it's not fun. It looks like a range though. Maybe. Or, or I got the high roll. So let's just. Uh, I'm not sure if you explained this, but if you switch the hot bar here, it uh, changes what's turned out next in the battle. I did not explain it because I was really focused on making sure I hit it, because that's what I keep messing up in these fights. <laughs> yeah, so what you send out to start the battle depends on the hot bar, but uh, what's lesser known is that you can adjust it mid-battle and it uh, makes makes it so that I can actually send out Gastro in the next back battle instead of having to like uh, keep my lead as Quilava. Yeah. I think it was Etiquette that actually popularized that, Like right, that's why I found yeah, out. Something I was like that. I was commentating Etiquette's run for uh, the Eon Fleet Marathon, and I saw him do that, and that just blew my mind. Like, I just never <laughs> really thought about that. Before, I mean, it's still not a bad idea, but we used to like just have our party organized um, in the actual list. Like yeah, but some of the strats make it not possible. Like, it worked with like, the initial strat where we just have Staravia die. Mm. Okay, I didn't get Obscure Hexed, so that's like a plus. That I cannot say happened uh, during most of my recent runs. Although, my record yesterday, I used Chatot strats, which actually. It's a slight bit slower, but it's safer since you don't have to deal with the obscure. As it cannot hit you with a ground type move. So, what I learned yesterday was. Uh, living in this fight is quite important because it helps your gastro get to 40. I had to buy the EXP candies for the Sabi fight later. Okay, hypnosis missed. That's huge. That's optimal. So the general strategy for this Arcanine battle is to, um, just, uh, we're gonna manipulate him to jump into and out of the middle part of the unit. Um, because if he's, if you're in the middle, he will want to go to the middle. So I come into the middle, walk out, he wants to go to the middle. Um, any predictability we can give the nobles is definitely close. Uh, because I will always know where he is to go to hit him. Uh, so Of my recent rounds have half brain here, I swear, like, actually. The rain sucks because you cannot go for playing with a one one shot. Yeah, I mentioned that they got rid of the buffs from weather effects, but they got or they got rid of one of them rain. Yeah, the weather effects are random. Did you know that like sunny weather boosts the speed of grass types? No I actually I did hear that, I think. I think Etiquette mentioned it in my GBQ feature. Yeah, it's a thing. Um, but yeah, they got rid of the buffs to water type moves on the rain weathers. Uh, but there's two. There's rain and thunderstorm. Um, but they kept the nerf on fire type damage. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really good Arcanine. I got a good RNG in the second phase, though, also. Um, after he's done being in the middle... Uh, he has a chance to either run directly at you or run uh, away from you and crush your dreams, uh, but he chose to run towards me, which is cool. Otherwise, the fight would have taken longer because I would have had to charge bombs from across the arena or damage boost through. Neither of which I'm very good at. <laughs> Yeah, so the Aya strat for this is like far beyond what we do. It, it like goes for like near like frame perfect damage boosts by stepping in the fire spin. 
Uh, that means you don't have to dodge the dash attacks. It's really cool, though. I think I'm going to have a lot of points. We'll see, though. I don't want to speak too soon. One thing is that the notes are expecting me to have my choke done already, but I don't because I only stunned it. Yeah. That's one of the things that is like usually uh, most different between individual runs. Oh my god. So there, I try to go for a tight throw there because. The sooner you dodge after a throw, the less time you lose. Because you're doing the whole cancel your end lag of the throw animation thing. But here, despite getting hit and get, getting like quote unquote bad RNG, I managed to uh, finish the fight before the Arcanine even dashed towards me. Like, it crashes into all the bombs that I throw in the air, and that finishes the fight. I'm gonna go talk to Tuli right now and get my bug warts. There you go. That's enough for five more stealth sprays. Plenty. Plenty of stealth sprays. So 6770 with Machoke not done and with uh, Hippo not done also. Yesterday I had 7k with Shinx not done and yeah, Machoke not done. Insane. That's why I only had to do three things. That was a really good run up to that point. But then I missed Toxic Croak somehow and got 8490. Mm, I only have four. <laughs> Extent of my uh, stun items, so I pretty much am locked out of Golduck and hit the Powder for options in Coronet. But the pro good thing is I don't really need to think about what to do in Coronet that much because you know I don't have to do a whole lot anyway. Yeah, my choke is not done yet, and then I'll add 110. So let me get an actual calculator out. <laughs> 6770 plus 110. Plus 120. Oh, it's 7k. <laughs> Crazy. Exactly 7k. You need like 4, I guess. Pretty sure, yeah, Shinx is already done. Okay. <laughs> it is math time. Yeah, we have a chart uh, on our notes. That tells you it's very, very good. It's a very, very good chart because anything we can, that can be made simple in this game uh, is very good to make simple. Um, tells you if you have this amount of points, you should go for this. If you have this, you should do this, 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 blah, blah, blah. So. Yeah, this is world record pace, so. Depending on how well Coronet goes, actually. So I only have 6,500, but I don't have Hippo done, I don't have uh, my joke done. So I believe I have to finish 5, but I'll do the calculations again. Mm, yeah, right now it says 4 extras needed. Um, but if I earn enough points, I can earn myself into the next tier, which means I only have to do 3. So, I don't know if I'll go for that, though. Might as well just go for four. There's a four. Uh, I guess it'll be. Well, not Gold Duck. I'm gonna erase that. <laughs> Start with not Gold Duck. So my character is really low level, and I'm almost certainly have, gonna have to buy candies after a coronet. Unfortunate. Because of the whole breakout thing. Okay. 
right. Probably through this video will be quite annoying. Uh, let me do this. I guess I didn't make a helper. That's even worse. I didn't need 14600, but I got everything I needed, I'm pretty sure. I didn't need to buy that much black tumble stuff, because I got the same on my black tumble stuff. Uh, Crimson. Yeah, we bring Gastron here, um, because uh, Leafeon, from my experience, always goes for Leaf Blade there. I have never seen it not against my Gastrodon. So we're starting to believe that Trainer AI may be influenced by like how tough an opponent is a little bit. Because Gastrodon's a tough cookie, but uh I need to do, do five things. I have a lot of stuns, I think. Yeah, I might be able to do Goldak and Hippodon. That's like what I usually want to go for if I can. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't get my clip there, but I remembered that I had like 6,500 and I have like 240 points that I'm gonna get. I'll save some time for not needing to uh, withdraw anything from my inventory. Okay. I need to sell my entire bag to make some money here. I almost did it, but then I realized I had my April coins in there, so I didn't want to do it. Yeah, I fixed that. Because you can't uh, manage inventory from yeah. the box there. So now I have my leaden balls for Cornet. I mean... Setting evening because we need to in order to do Yanma efficiently. So. Yeah, still on perfect streak for Leaf Blade on this fight when you bring a Gastro against the Leafian. So depending on my stuns. I would probably do either uh, Hippodon or Voltorb or maybe even Chingling. Oh, yeah. Which one is better, Chingling or Voltorb? Must be Voltorb, right? Alright, now there's no, no question about me and me because I managed to catch all three of them. Yeah, Meg is good. Now from here, um... Yeah, from here it's, uh, I think it's just Toxic Curve, Voltorb, and Shrews. And you catch one hippo. So there's so many Pokemon you can actually do here in Coronet. Um, this, I don't want to say this has the most Pokemon of any area, because that might just be subjectively wrong. But this is the most open-ended area in the game. Like The least things we would call required are here. Matter of fact, there's only two Pokemon we have absolutely required for the route. Uh, Yanma and Skuntank. Um, Yanma because they're pretty easy to catch, plus they're, they're consistent for the fights in this area. And then Skuntank... Uh, is one of our end game party members, so we absolutely need to do Skun Tank Roots. You might as well do the research while you're catching it. Everything else is uh, fair game. 
depending on your situation. I had my inventory get boosted. Oh. So it hit the young mega, like frame perfectly. Nice, with what, that's the scatterbang? Okay, thank god, I got the third one, the extra one. Yeah, there's a Z button this game that's really good, that's worth a lot of points. Yeah, I thought I sorted my inventory, but I guess I didn't. If you don't sort your inventory, when you get a new item, and the game's programmed really poorly, and it actually pushes your hot bar, and it uh, messes you up every time. Good, 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 good. Uh, that Z-Bat was just worth 60 points right now, essentially. Not yeah. right now, not in its current state, but by the end of the area, we will have earned 60 points on Z-Bat. Just for catching it right there. Pretty much. Because one of the things about this game is that you need to own a Pokemon to do it. So if you don't own anything, there's no point in like stunning it or feeding it or anything. It will not count anything unless you own it. Just trying to see if I'm going to really play about it, but it seems to be pretty nice game space really bad. Okay, Hippo is Somehow... 8. I just need to catch one, doesn't have to be unspotted. Somehow caught, uh, or somehow passed the Alpha Moth when he was looking directly in my path. Silly. Couldn't control it though. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt briefly here. Uh, I'm going to be uh, stepping off away for now. Uh, I'm done with my hosting. Um, Paige will be taking over. Welcome uh, in, Paige. And also, uh, we had a change in tech as well. Uh, fortunate is taking over on tech. So uh, thanks to both not, of you not, for not your hard work. Not thank God you're leaving. Uh, <laughs> thank, God <laughs> thank you, for, thank you, Dre. Appreciate it. Yep, no worries. Uh, good luck on the rest of your run, guys. Thank you. All right. Hey, yeah, I'm just hi. I'm coming in. So, anyways, I'm just yeah, just switching over hosts for now. But did you did I hear you say you're possibly on world record pace out? Uh, yeah, me and Shady are both on pretty good runs. Shady had a lot of- I was about to nah, say, nah, my, see... run, my run is not good at all. It's like one of my worst runs. He says that all the time, don't listen he, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. This is, this but is anyways. common Shady dialogue. Literally, literally three minutes behind PB. Well, I mean, did you, you did just world record game, yesterday, though. So, I mean, like, and you said you were even below points. So, like, there's no <laughs> way that you could say that right now. <laughs> I guess. I have like I have a lot bit more points, so I have a lot less to do in this. Yeah, Hark is much so. better off. Like he's nearly guaranteed to win the race. Nearly. There, there's some, some things that can still troll me. Like for example, uh, I'm planning to do Toxic Croak in this area, um, but I could literally only get one spawn. Like, I could technically get zero spawn also. So. I hope that doesn't happen. I'm just acknowledging it as a possibility. True. <laughs> Hip out on isn't happening here, unfortunately. Since I have to stun a fourth Bulldog. Yeah, I actually don't get hit by the nothing, which is nice. Almost always happens. Well, you are way higher level. Come on, let me see if you fall here. Any donations, this would be a good time. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, let's see. I want to double check my hippo. I think I only need to catch one, but it's better to be sure than sorry. Okay, there's no I way I hit this range. Oh, crap. No, Ingo, the choice is yours, please. I'm, I'm amused. Part. I actually hit the range at level 35. Nice. I hit it at 36. Oh, it's ranked 9 because I got to choose the form. Okay, 
So, yeah, uh, I mentioned Yan Mega's good, but we're not done with Yan Mega yet, necessarily. Uh, in order to finish Yan Mega, we need to do a strong style move and a uh, ancient power. So we're gonna do the strong style move right now with Air Slash, which also gives Tangle more turns to kill us. And then, um, not good. Ancient power doesn't miss. So should be if it doesn't kill, we're fine. Also, oh, that's so bad. Uh, it's not great. <laughs> Oh, you Strong Air Slash should still kill. Yeah, yeah I got the boost. It gave us... I don't think it's even a range. I'm not going regular, but that sounds like a bad idea. The regular is normally. Yeah. But I would rely on this here. Plus, the regular is 95 average, which means it's zero. <laughs> True. We usually yeah, have a double turn is... there, so it's fine. I'm gonna go for the Gastro range here. Because I haven't done any of the strong timers. So I'm gonna get some bonus points, why not? Ah, so close. It's been cool, but. The important thing was that I need to do at least one strong style move here in this area. So that's what mattered. And now that's done. It was only yeah. you know, practically the only chance I was gonna get to do a strong style move unless I wanted to do strong move. My strong map bump on yeah. Maddie. That's an option. I might go for if I get like uh, if I'm versus the last one at full HP, then it's probably more safe to just not go for the strong move against the Gly Square. Yeah, I'm normally the biggest stan of that range, but recently it's been not hitting for me, so I'm and I'm like, a little bit. I have a really low level Gastrodome because uh, the high level one broke out. I was only I got the lower level one because, uh, I was only 36 in that fight because I died to Gengar. I should be higher. Unfortunately, it's not worth reviving Gastron to get the experience in that last fight, though. It's only a ride on and a Gengar. I'm just gonna go for the strong here. I just have to remember to use it in the other fight then. Yeah, it wouldn't have killed. go for a lot of bonus points I think like I need probably need like a hundred maybe not since I'm gonna get some inherent bonus points as well oh, I don't have the stones for hit powder so I need to do world orb toxic throat world orb mischievous I want to make sure, because Shady lost a minute for not stunning those enough. Yeah. Uh, not to name names, but... <laughs> Get free and kill them.
Oh, I have a shiny on my screen. <laughs> I'm gonna heal this gas trap just in case. No, I'm still right here. Just be on these safers. I need you. Shiny Bowden, let's see if I get it. I got it. Nice. Ah, oh, that's a gas. Here's my Contra, another one of those Pokemon that's kind of mandatory for around here. Uh, it's actually our big heavy hitter for, uh, for sure. Yes. I can only stun once contact, that's always kind of cringe because uh, it means that I need to uh, catch one without getting a boosted catch rate. Or you can just randomly turn around and see me. My inventory got uh, pushed again. Oh. I hate this. And that's a stun again. Okay, it's gone, thank you. need to get in. That's not optional. Okay. I have got any it. What I meant to say is we're now going for just uh, no mystery because I got the alpha and the speed. Really yeah, I have a mud ball, so I can stun something. Of my it choice. There should be enough points, for sure. I got 60 from Zubat. Uh, like 40 extra. 65 Sneasel. From... I got 40 extra from. Breakout. Uh... I don't have the Pokeballs there for like any breakout right now, actually. That makes more, I guess. Yeah. I have 10 left. And I need Haunter and Polter and Mistress. That's good enough. It's one ghastly. Missed on 10 points for not defeating a second one with a ground type move. I, mean, I think I have to go for uh, leaving with the points I have right now because I don't have another choice. Yeah, finished everything as planned. Yeah, Mischievous. Uh... I'm glad I went for Mischievous, honestly. But I'm sad it didn't. I didn't finish it because I got mm. ag alpha just aggro. Yeah. It's just something yeah, I, I had to, can't control. I mean, I beat Walter by uh, scaring five, though that's always slow. But that's yeah, I'll probably thing. go. I'll probably go scare a couple more before I warp back. 
just to be sure. I don't want to have to evolve anything. So, as long as I didn't miss anything, I'm good on points. And I didn't, like, get screwed on. Uh, bonus or whatever. Unfortunate, of course, I now need to go young and go. Need my strong move on Gastro. Yeah, me smalls. I'll just go for it, whatever. I'm just so nervous about it. Let me look at the points again and make sure I'm not like forgetting to account for something. How many points did I get on the street? I assumed it was like 40. I got 80 on the streets. Okay, I'm probably fine. Actually, I don't know if they're both unspotted. Even if it wasn't unspotted, it was at least 60. If I'm behind on points, I'll just figure it out. Yeah. Okay. This fight is really RNG based because uh, if the wall doors fall on you, you have to dodge and that loses some time. You can sometimes like kind of walk out of them if you if they don't fall okay. like on top of you, like if you're on the edge. Okay. Not the best run, but it is still world record based if nothing goes wrong. Best possible time, 3.43.33. Where the world records are mid 3.45. So I have some time to play around with, but I'd prefer not to play around with it. Personally, it's my, uh, it's my personal desire here. Yeah, meanwhile I'm here right. like finishing like three minutes behind. You're trying your best and I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got really nice. I really really good screwed over from the get-go. Even even starting from a breakout skip didn't get that, then I got two breakouts on Shinx in the in rage. Everything went wrong. Okay, so I'm glad I went for Mistrevis. If I didn't go for Mistrevis, I would have been 8490. Because I got 80 points from Mistrevis <laughs> and I got 8570 on my total points. Okay. Or I could have just stunned or scatterbanged Voltorb some more, but whatever. I wasn't going to do that. If I was skipping Mistrevis, I certainly wasn't scatterbanging Voltorb a little bit more. The real question are you ahead of the run that I had if I had got an 8500? Uh, I'm a minute behind when you actually ended up doing it yesterday. Okay, so... Oh, no. Yeah. Because that would have been like a two... Yeah, I'd be two minutes behind that right now. Okay, technically I had a better run, except it just 
fell apart at the very last second. Yeah. That coronet was not that good. I had a bad Ingo, a uh, bad Melly. Yeah, both those ranges are really good to hit, and I just uh, thought it'd be cool if I didn't hit them. Yep. Okay, moment of truth for me, though. Let's see if I miss something up. Uh... Oxycroak. Uh, I'm 8620, so I calculated correctly. I just went over by a bit, but it was less than le yeah, it was less than a full completion. So I always like take that, like as long as it's uh, it's not over 8700, then I'm fine. You're about three minutes behind me, I think. I'm three and a half minutes behind my PB if I adjust the splits for like the. Uh, messing up the whole rank up part. I, I fixed that in my splits. I basically like put the rank up time minus 20 seconds. Okay, so you'd think after research is done, the get run gets a little bit easier, but that's not true. Um, there's a lot of fights coming up. I I mean, execution-wise, it, it becomes oh, execution really easy. execution-wise, it becomes very easy, yeah. To the point where I could probably switch to turbo if I wanted to, but I'm not quite ready to do that yet. Yeah. For the end game, I play on turbo controller for the entirety of it, except for, like, uh, Avalanche fight, uh, the final boss, and uh, I guess the part where I throw bombs at uh, Azeroth. I Did you remember to, uh, to withdraw um, Oxcrip? Yes. Yeah, so so far I've, I'm 1 for 3 in this in round and oh, 5 for 6. Oh no, I just need to research. Wait, hold on. No, I Did killed you... Mr. Mime! Come back! Oh, oh, oh no. Yeah, you have to go for slot 4 here. Did you go first? My hero? Not for its earth power, it cannot kill it. It can be definitely research. Congress. I don't know if Venoshock is research. Venoshock is research, but I don't know well, if yeah, it's a new tier. tier free, so. Yeah. Uh, it is not. So it wasn't okay. too bad. Uh, Ven Wait, how many Venoshocks do we see in the run? Only one? Usually one, unless you get something really weird on, in, on the Cobalt fights. Okay, yeah, then uh, the next tier for Venishok is three, so I'm fine. Yeah, expected. Well, actually, I think Master Mime deserved it, so I have no regrets. Understandable. Hate that guy. So it's such a <laughs> pain in the runs because uh, it never uses Psychic. Like, with the Toxic Croak strat, we thought it was good, but I don't know, in runs it hasn't worked out at all. Like, I'm 1 for 3, even though I went I 5 for 6 in I practice. Once. Yeah, it certainly is better than using whatever, but... Yeah, I don't Sometimes know. Sometimes you go first, and... Yeah. Maybe there's a better option still that I haven't thought of. Maybe it's just... problem is po some poison types. Most poison types are really fast. Yeah. Most common Pokemon who won't make a showing. No, you probably should start from some something that isn't in this game because you see pretty much every common poke at least some point on the screen, even though if even if you don't interact with it. Oh, Gastron's already for you. So don't worry about that. You still need to get the candies or no? Uh, uh, good, good here, point. Here. I, I have no Garrett, idea. Garrett gives about a thousand experience, so if you're more than a thousand experience away, you need to have a Yeah, I'm gonna go buy them. Good, good reminder. You're welcome. Okay, I got to turn one psychic. Nice. Yeah, you 
pretty much saved oh. me last second here because otherwise I would have lost time in the battle. You're welcome. Yeah, I had to do this in my PB as well. I'm not sure if it's such a good strat to not buy the candies then, but let's see. Kind of just have to pray for a high level gastro, which didn't happen this run. Yeah, I got a 34, but I still died to uh, charm, and so I didn't get any charm experience, but I still got to 40 naturally. Only, yeah, also, with only doing four Pokemon. Oh, well, actually, I only did three. I did three and a half because I didn't finish Mistrevis. So I need to use the candies right away in case they went to my uh, storage. This is certainly possible given we do stuff in Coronet. Which fills our inventory. Um, yeah. I think we don't come back to the Oh, how am I gonna tell the speeds of my sneakers without the good replay buffer? I mean, it works, but it's so hard to scrub. I, mean, I guess I can just do it. Hey, my brother in Christ using turbo. Yeah, true, true, true. I so last to run, I had a using turbo. <laughs> last run, I had a plus boost using. Yeah, levels on my fellers aren't great. I have a forty-three stun tank. Both my skin tanks were 43. Oh, I... You said and that's plus speed. I already saw it. Okay. Oh, I actually took the slower skin tank. Oh, oh I'm a level 40. That was a waste of time, whatever. I, I, I'm seriously confused on how I got to 40, but sure. 193 level 54 should be plus speed, right? It's 2 EL. I don't know. That sounds like plus speed. Normally, like, even with good yields, it's in, like, the 180s. Yeah. What about my other sneezer? So... I had it in the guide, like, where you're looking like. If it's, what, below 180, then it's minus speed. If it's above 200, it's probably plus oh, speed, like... Or is this close to 200? It might still be plus speed. I think I have a plus speed haunter also. 164. Level 54 2EL. Haunter speed doesn't matter, I don't think. Can't I. No, maybe I'm thinking. Well, it actually helps. If it's a plus speed haunter, you could use it as a lead against, like, the. Dialga or Falky, I mean, That's what I was saying. Only, only Dialga, but you wouldn't really want to do it because just statusing them does no better than just doing 50% damage. It's when you do 50% damage and status them that you get an insane catch rate boost. Are we having a gentleman's agreement here to pick Rita? <laughs> Both of us? I'm thinking about it. I'll do it if you do it. Because for marathon safety, it's probably optimal to just use the uh, hypnosis strat after close combat. You can go for marathon safety. I'll, uh, I'll try to close out this world. Yes, yeah, since so. this is a world record attempt for you, you can do whatever you want. Also, since I'm on a bad run, it doesn't really matter either. Like it doesn't matter who I pick. I'm gonna take like five like, balls to get the Alga or Palkia anyway. Even though my run is bad, I'm still like I'll be low estimates. Yeah, we're doing this. These are, these are actually two very, very, very good runs, relatively, like, to what, you know, what the worst I mean, possibly happen in the marathon. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're, we're both sub sub 350 pace right now. Yeah, it's it's certainly a sub 350 pace, easily. Like, I have minutes of climb safe here, probably. I'm three oh, and a half minutes here, behind. I failed. <laughs> I'm three and a half minutes behind world record. I have a couple of minutes to save. But I cannot record from this, of course. I just can't get closer, I guess. If nothing goes wrong in the end game. Yeah, I think I'd have to throw a significant amount to lose the race at this point. Three minutes. 
it. We'll see. Anything can happen. It might never catch the legendary. I could die at the end of Avalog and accidentally choose to restart the fight. Who knows? <laughs> That's a feast the trees news so it doesn't touch trouble. I cannot wait, never mind. That's not again, that's not what we need in the fight. We don't need strong. I can just use the feast tree. Oh well. So I can keep the 55 ally alive and get more EXP on it, maybe pushing it to even higher level. So that it can like hit the good range better. Yesterday I was really close to hitting it in one one shot. So I was able to just do a normal dark pose. I messed up the puzzle again. Yeah. Alright, but you're not even using turbo. I keep messing it up due to turbo because it's hard to like time correctly with that. And you're not flashing. Yeah, I can't hear my um I can't hear like the, the clicks on the text boxes that much. Why? So like I was trying to press A to get the options to show do, up on the that's it? on the puzzle. Do you not have audio or what? I it, I'm okay, hold on. I, I do have audio, but it's playing on my TV and I'm wearing headphones. Ah, you're barely hearing it. Yeah, the audio is really important in this game because it lets you tell if you caused something or not. Hello, yeah, I'm on most runs been fine, things. But, like, but for those text boxes that you press A and it makes no sound and it uh, advances that way, mm -hmm. it's really annoying. Thank you. I really appreciate it that much. Oh, yeah, I got the Galette Dutch in my record. Yesterday. I didn't do a screen with it there. Okay. Crouch. Yeah, I'm throwing. <laughs> Whatever. Oh no, I lost a second. And I'm like two minutes ahead. I mean, you can get what happened to me and still lose it, like. Die with Daniel. Let's see this Galate touch. Okay, that's not gonna happen probably. Yeah. That's like an impossible positioning. Yeah, I'm just throwing. <laughs> I accidentally used regular earth power on Rhyperior, but Oh no. I didn't I didn't lose the fight, I just finished it off with Sneasel. Losing that's some experience timeless. on uh on Gastrodon, but that's okay. Yeah, that means I'll just take more from the double edge. I'm catching up. Seconds or something. 
But previously we used to use an alpha tail, so mainly for this fight, because it lets us get a guaranteed kill in this right period. Uh, the coronet sneezles are too low of a level for that. But we found a new way, or by we I mean we copied it from the Japanese. Uh, we basically just killed the Magmortar first, using the sneezer, instead of using the sneezer to uh, try to kill the Rhyperior. Then, since the uh, Gastron is level 40, it has strong health power. Now, that is also a guaranteed kill on this. Also, the Gastrodon is nice because uh, it saves a lot of time on the animations of the Electivire because it only has electric moves. Just like that. There's no animations. It's kind of like playing a normal Pokemon speedrun where your animations are turned off. It's just the text. move actually and let's just do the bravery fight to finish off this split this is a trivial fight now thanks to uh the hunter we used to use a glaley which was also outspeed into one hit ko but um, before that, we used to have stuff like use a Lux Ray and hope you don't miss your Thunder from not get a two hit KO after having the Braviary move points. So it wasn't as good. So here I have a long cutscene, I'm gonna check what the speed of my folks were using the clip I made. Just taking them from the box. Okay, so... Okay, actually... Wait, okay, the first sneeze at least 207 speed, the other one is 178. So I think I have a plus speed and a minus speed sneeze as well. Really important that I use the plus speed one when it's necessary to be fast. Yeah, I don't know about counter speed, I haven't looked at the ranges. Doesn't really matter as much. Just gonna. I'm just gonna bring the uh, higher levels here, so I guess. Everything should be fine as well as. Uh, unfortunately, I have to use the higher levels needed against Snorlax, which isn't like that useful since you normally want to use the high level Sneasel uh, against the Fable in the Kamado fight that's coming up right before the end of the run. The reason for wanting higher level is that you might be able to tank some hits and actually uh, save some time by not needing a switch. Also, Hulk, are you muted? You've been slight for a while. Yeah, I'm just figuring I'd focus since I'm making so many mistakes. Understandable. It's not helping a bad finger to false spot, false diagonal on uh, uh, when I was flying to the, the rock yeah. and I opened the menu. Actually, I only took four damage there, so it's not quite optimal because it locks you out of the A input. This was a bit too high. I might be a good time for you to just play in a uh, range. Yeah, oh, sure. Uh, so, this fight has an interesting cycle mechanic where 
if you uh, damage it to below 50 percent below before it shoots out these bicycle mis missiles, uh, the missiles are what we call uh, those uh, rage missiles, which uh, shoot out like really with a rapid fire, and uh, you cannot uh, throw in between them, and it's uh, really uh, slow and weak the other more of the missiles. So we basically delay intentionally uh, our damaging on it so that it actually doesn't fall below 50 percent before the missiles. However, once we got it uh, to launch the missiles, we go all in with the up throws to like make the uh, throws land later. And what Hulk is trying to hit here right now is uh, what we call Rage Gift. If you do it all perfectly, you can finish the fight before the Rage animation happens and sa it saves like 5 seconds or something. You got it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm losing potential time already on the gold I got the other day. So let's see how I do. I missed the rage skip in my PB for the first in a while. So that was annoying. It was literally like one hit away too. So yeah. Maybe I can explain it better here. As I'm doing it myself. So here we just take it quite chill. Make sure that it doesn't go below 50% before the missiles launch. Doesn't really matter if I get hit here. I'm kind of just avoiding the icicles for swag. I want to get hit by these since they knock you down. So I need like two more hits and now I can... Okay, I messed up by getting hit there, but otherwise it was good timing. I wonder if I can still get it. Probably not. Is this part of the fight has to be like perfect? I only lost a minute on that fight. Or not in that area. Rather. These up throws are like delaying the cycle for it. And again, one hit away from getting it. That's so rough. Yeah, we are stuck at the game, I guess. Yeah, the rage animation has those invulnerable uh, frames which you cannot hit through. That's why we want to skip it. So now you have seen an instance of getting the rage skip and missing the rage skip. Yay! Optimal content. Alright, you saved a minute, I presume. Over you. Yeah. Well, because I, 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 I mean, had I did 14 to save in that area, and I only saved 13 seconds. So. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. Like nothing went horribly wrong for me. I just didn't have like perfect execution, and uh, that I had to buy the candies, which didn't even matter because I don't know somehow I was for them. Like not sure how this happened, but it's uh, completely my fault for not checking it. Here, the uh, last thing that made me reach to this stress, which were like uh, pioneered by the Japanese runners, is that when you do this, everything oops, not splitting here, uh, the professor says that there's nothing for no research for you uh, that you have done, and it just instantly asks you to leave. That's the research keep that saves like over 10 seconds. And that was something I overlooked initially when I saw the Japanese run, but then I realized that that's actually a huge time save.
uh, here we probably enter one of the most boring sections of the run because there's nothing happening for like 15 minutes i'll probably be a little bit quiet for the remainder of the run just because i only have a minute left to spare and like 30 percent 30 seconds of that is already guaranteed pretty much guaranteed to be yeah Hydra, so i can try to uh I mean, I have time right now. now. Like, I'm not doing yeah, anything. like right now, there's nothing happening. Like, yeah, this is the boring part. Like, there's nothing much to explain here about the run. I'm about to get the kaboom. You mean the bakum? Yes, sorry. <laughs> what I like to call it is the Monka W. <laughs> it's so loud for like no reason. Still not as loud as Palky as cry when you try to catch it. God, it's so bad. So I get, I take your taking uh, the Palky at chats with this one. Yeah, I have to. Yeah. I guess I could show the Dialga strats for variety then. I probably lost 30 seconds on the on the Toxic Croak Mr. Mime problem, and I probably lost the other 30 on uh, on not getting strong style. Uh, yeah, was it like on? input okay. eaten eat or what happened there? I just didn't do it. Uh oh. I just, I, I just I switched okay. targets, and I thought the target switch was the only thing I needed to do. Uh, yeah, I guess two things. I just forgot to do strong. Yeah, that's possible time, 344.35, so it still can be done. It's just, uh, well, less likely. If I get a yeah. crit on the Alpha Gudra, I'll feel a lot better. But that's 30 yeah. seconds we practically forsake in this run with the new route. Yeah, it's not completely uh, impossible. If it has a minus nature, it's probably, like, a favorable range at that point, actually. Mm. So, like, it's more likely to get the kill without the crit than it is to get it with the crit, because the crit is 1 in 24, that's quite unlikely. And you just have to hit, basically, say, 1 in 6 and then twice, so it's like 1 in 12. Or you can, if you have a good Sneasel, it's like a 1 in 16 range to also just get a straight up kill if it's like a neutral defense, Gudra. So it's possible, it's just really unlikely. Most of the time you just have to go home turned. And if it has yeah. plus EL, good luck. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> over. Yeah, if you do very little damage to it, then, then it's even rougher because you cannot use the Dark Pools. If it goes for Shelter, then you might miss if you go Gastro. So we use Haunter because... Uh, not, not everyone might know this, but anything with the uh, word Pools in this uh, is a never miss move in this game. So Dark Pulse never misses. That's why we use it on the uh, Obscured Gudra. It does very little, little damage, but it's usually just barely enough to inch out the last bit of the health bar that's uh, left out on the Gudra after the uh, close combat. Yes, there's just small movement sections, nothing too crazy. I think we've got to figure out the fastest movement is. There was like a small period of time where people thought it was faster to just go fly. from, uh, yeah, to go from great straight from the Grand Tree Arena without warping, but that's so much land to cover. There's no way. <laughs> yeah. Warp does not take that long. Warping between maps can take a while, sure. Um, is it a bad thing that I picked up a minus speed skunting? I doubt it. I don't think skunting matters at all. Okay, I know it used to. But Where? You used, you used to want a, a minus speed skunting for the, your double skunting strat. Right! I remember. It goes second and you can get a combo or something. Yeah, I'm brave hearing. So here we have Shinx dialogue. 
Actually, you, yeah. It's not basically before Turbo that used to be like one of the breaks for mashing, except there's one thing like the text box caused by a Shinx. Which kind of ruins it. Otherwise, it's almost enough for a back bathroom break. But yeah, Turbo's so, so nice since we can just use it for. Nice random alpha geo dude that I just had to dodge there. The yeah, turbo lets us take a bathroom break, so. Don't oh my god, when you said Shinx dialogue, I thought you were like literally in the cutscene with me. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> nope, I I was referring to you because I have Yeah, okay, I get that. My stream is like delayed because it goes to the RTMP. I was so RTMP concerned, I'm like, I... did I lose that much time? Like, damn. Yeah, I just now entered the cutscene with Munchlax. Okay. That's a little bit better. So I'm about to go to the Shinx part now. Yeah, so at this part of the game, uh, we're banished from the village. Uh, they took some story beats from PMD, which I like to see, because PMD has good stories. They should do that more often. Um, For sure. Now, we're being informed by Kogita here that we need to uh, defeat, or we need to go to the Three Lakes. Uh, like Equity, Lake Verity, and Lake Valor. That's the order we'll be going to them in. Um, to gather pieces from the Lake Guardians to assemble the Red Chain. To deal with the threat that is causing the RGB sky here. RGB <laughs> sky. Yes. And the trails are quite fun and interactive. I mean, the puzzles are like pretty much trivial, except for one maybe. We have never mentioned, um, but we both have a keypad in front of us. Yep. It's coming I have, up. I have officially picked a Rita. Um, cool. I'm gonna pick that Think about the in. Nintendo Switch, right? Uh, if there's a part in a video game that requires you to use the Switch OS keyboard, or anytime the Switch OS keyboard comes up, you can use an external keyboard. Nice little crouch. Mommy? Nah, my, my crouch. <laughs> oh. Nice crouch, I agree. It still amazes me that like we found like there's so many random things throughout this run that we found about found out about the switch in general. <laughs> the keypad, other stuff like that. Just yeah, like, the controllers, the wired controllers. The wired like, controllers. How to swap yeah. Them. How to swap them? Like, there's so many different things. I've seen this like as a leaderboard mod. I've seen this run come from nothing to. Like no optimizations whatsoever because like we didn't think anything could be done because it was so story solid to having these little optimizations of the keypad of like you said the wired controller switching controllers doing stuff like that it's just a really cool thought afterthought that I've had. Yeah, whenever the original like King of the Game O Snap had the record at like a four oh five or maybe a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I asked him how what what the lowest he could possibly see the game going to. Uh, he said three fifty five, and I thought he was full of it. So. <laughs> <laughs> and what's so, the world record now? Three forty five. <laughs> yeah, three forty five twenty seven. Ten lower, lower than that. <laughs> Ten minutes lower than that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Nothing's impossible. You think there's a barrier, but it's certainly not too dying. But yeah. Hulk is doing Irida strats, I'm doing Adamant strats. It's gonna be interesting. So... For Irida, it's probably more, like, optimal on average, but Adamant is safer. Because you can, you can get a guaranteed catch on Dialga. By getting it to red HP and then putting it to sleep. So I mentioned that keypad. Um, UFC is going to ask us a riddle uh, involving Pokemon eyes, and we need to tell them, tell UFC how many eyes each of the Pokemon have in the in basically a number sequence. 
So I have a 10 digit keypad in front of me and I'm going to type in the number on the keypad. It's a lot faster than using the Switch Pro Controller to navigate to the numbers. So here we are climbing the wall. Uh, it's actually fastest to press the Y button on Sneasler to jump off the wall because that gives you your bravery ascension back. Why, but what is your button mapping? It's the E button. It's... Okay. Talk about yeah. dismounting a wall. With a I'm just, I'm just, I'm just doing it off muscle memory. I don't even know what buttons <laughs> I'm pressing at this point. You're good. Multiple controller moment. <laughs> I mean, it's true that the other controller I have has the PS3 button layout, and the other one has the Xbox button layout. So <laughs> yeah, I have to go between do. them. Yeah, a bit do unfortunately. But I'm used to that. I don't know if it's unfortunate, but it's just so different from it's the fine. Switch Pro. I like the D pad on the 8 bit too, it's much better for that for it. Yeah, it's a much stuff. better D pad for sure. I didn't switch my lead in time, so I had to do it there. Okay. So right, here this is the moment. We there. either get a fifty percent crit or we just hit the range. So please get either or. Yeah, I got the crit. I didn't actually stand a chance for the range at the 43 scouts tank, <laughs> but I needed the crit, definitely. I have a 46. I didn't get it. I mean, out of any run, this is fine. I don't care if this run is bad. I lived. Is it normal that you live with this gun tank? From Shadow Claw or from Nasty Claw Shadow Claw? Uh, I think it's Nasty Claw Shadow Claw. Regular Shadow Claw only did like 20% time just now. Let me get my keyboard out. I just put the tank to Shadow Claw Claws after the Nasty Claw thing. Oh, okay. Okay, nice pro. That is definitely yeah. how you descend with Braviary and get back on to Braviary. Absolutely. I took a splash on the way to get uh, on the way to Gudra. There's my six two one three one. Yeah. Um. If, if I miss this range, it still could world record, but hitting the range will make me feel a lot better. Yeah. Honestly. I gotta take the high level sneeze in here. Yeah, so the problem with these alphas and routing them out is that they are actually truly wild Pokemon. So they have random ELs, IVs, miniatures, and all that. Yeah, uh, the weird thing about this, unlike in the normal alphas, I think these ones don't have any guaranteed three ELs. I, I thought for the longest time they did, but oh, I looked at it later. Yeah. Okay. Was it close? Yeah, it's really close, it's like 1 HP. You can at least go for a no strength uh, dark boost. Filter. Do shelter, yeah. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Ten seconds. Twice. Like, less than I thought I'd be losing, so I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because uh, if you haven't played Arceus yet, uh, Hisui and Gudra. I don't know if Hisui and uh, Sligu has it, but Hisui and Gudra has a signature move now called Shelter, which uh, raises its defense and makes it obscure, which basically means uh, it raises its evasiveness in this game. So it's a defense raise and a uh, and an evasiveness raise in one move, and it sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the toughest alpha to beat here. We would do it last if it saved time, but it didn't, so. Normally, it's not possible to outspeed any of these because the wild might buff of the alphas uh, also applies to speed, so you cannot like outspeed them. But because the uh, speed of the good race is so slow, like. Base that wise, it's actually possible to use the 150 base missile to outspeed it. 
that's like the only thing that works. And even with the new strats, uh, you actually have to look at your speed stat to make sure that it's not like minus speed, otherwise it wouldn't work. But here I'm plus speed, so there's no way I'm getting out sped here, unless I'm using the wrong speed or something. So let's see how my luck is. I'm level 56 here, which is decent, I guess. I only lost 15 seconds. I'll take it. I got it. I got a crit. Nice. <laughs> On a runway, it doesn't matter. I mean, that saves you 15 seconds on me. Yeah, maybe you get screwed over and I get to catch up. Go, boom. I mean, we're going for different legendaries, so there's a chance. Yeah, I'm, get, I'm going for the safe, safe third turn catch. The only way for it to fail if, is if I crit it or I miss hypnosis, which is 90% accurate when used as strong style. If I miss hypnosis, then it's like a 60% chance per turn. Once upon a time, I had a world record where I uh, didn't get the diamond settlement warp, where I had to fly from the ground area to the lake. One, let's go. I didn't jump. I guess it still worked out. I should have uh, done a bravery pump there. Oops. Probably, just to make sure I got it there. That was minimal time lost, though. Who cares? Yeah. Alright, so I have a potential to lose 10 more seconds here. Hopefully, I don't. That'd be yeah. kind of unfortunate. Oh, yeah, in my run, I misclicked or my input got eaten or something, so I used Waterproof instead of Earth Power. Mm -hmm. I messed up the perfect gold by talking to Adam at the end because of Turbo. It still golded by a second. Take it. That's not golding again anytime soon. I also didn't have perfect maneuvering in the fight. I actually took a second to select my move. So, yeah. Let's see how this goes for you. Nice. Yeah, I think that gets quite right like <laughs> Yeah, it's 10 seconds. I couldn't really afford to lose those 10 seconds at this point. Yeah. So. Actually, I almost want to switch controllers, because trying to aim it uh, as elf with this controller is actually really cringe. That's what I'm doing. What am I doing? I'm just trying to press too many I times. At, I get it. I get it. I'd like to think I am. I don't know. The fact that I haven't gotten a 343 of this new route yet shows that I'm probably not. <laughs> Even that. So much has changed and so much is better. I mean, with that definition, no one is good at the game. True. Which is true. Everyone it's sucks. To be good at this, game. this game is insanely hard. Like, it's, it's one thing for the game to be hard, which it is, yeah. But, um,. On top of that, you have to deal with RNG with breakouts. You have to deal with RNG with like fight fights. You have to deal with ranges and all that stuff. Like it's 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 so so many levels. Mm -hmm. So this is probably one of the hardest speedruns to get good at. I think. Let's see how my work will really turn out. Do uh, early crouch. Yeah, yeah, I chose the wrong, not the wrong, 
I didn't choose the wrong move this time. That's what I meant to say. And I got the range. Yeah, it's tr it's not really a new run. It's the first Pokemon game I've played. Uh, That's why I, why I like it. I played Red and Blue on the Game Boy first. My first is uh, uh, Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Okay. Unless you can't play like my uh, cousin's uh, GBA. Your first like, wait, your first Pokemon game wasn't like a main series game. No. That's interesting. Unless you can't play on on my cousin's GBA for like five minutes. That that counts. Okay, that was a, then it's not. But the first one I owned. Oh my god, why am I facing that way? <laughs> okay, best possible time 345.05. So, as long as I don't get clapped in the fights and uh, I don't. Dialga or Palkia doesn't troll me. And if uh, I don't get sleep hacks on charm, then this is a new world record. But if and only if all those things happen. Yep. It's gonna there's be. There's not a whole lot of like. There's the not a whole lot of stuff I can influence right now. Yeah, it's just tiny bits of movement and many optimizations. Not a lot of cutscenes. Uh, not like uh, amounting to any anywhere near the amount of time that you can lose from RNG here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's it's the end game experience here. Yeah. Not the best, but uh, it I is shouldn't what actually it is. be stressed out because it's literally not up to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's literally not my decision whether this world records or not. Still well on sub 350 pace, even though this run is bad in my uh, standards. Yeah, I mean the fact that we're both able to get a uh, three. What, what's the worst possible? Yeah, 347, 348. Yeah, so I'm three minutes behind my 345, but that loses one minute to Benny. So as long as nothing goes as horribly wrong as uh, that run ended. Then I get at 347, I'd say. Yeah. yeah, this race is insanely good. Like both runs are, like, <laughs> I mean, they're better than, like, every run on the leaderboards besides our PB, which is not to knock any other runner. It's just like a testament to how good these runs are. Mm -hmm. Like in a marathon setting, it's really, really good. But uh, I don't want to stress you out, Shady. But uh, you are currently racing. Uh, what's his name? Evil Beef. <laughs> <laughs> He's like right there. Right. He has a, th he has a 348. That's true. So, uh, clock's ticking. Yeah. I better make my statement true. True. I have to be. So, this is a three minute cutscene. Yay. We're in the this same cutscene. Yeah, this one is three minutes. It's over three minutes. From the you, moment you, you mean... leave the last lake to the moment you gain control to warp. I oh, think okay, you yeah, already it's three warped. minutes if you include this place and um, and uh, what you do in Jubilife. Yeah, yeah. That plus that is probably three minutes. Yeah. Yeah, until the moment you get to warp, you just warped, so you're already out of the cutscene. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's a lot of things happening here uh, in sequence without you gaining control, that's why it's so long. Like first, you go come out of the cave, then you go to the ruins in the Crimson Marlins to make the red chain, then you get taken back to the village, now you're in the uh, HQ. And yeah, 
Only after that can we move. I'm gonna mute because there's like uh, I live right next to a pool and they're playing really loud music. So <laughs> just in the room. I don't I don't hear anything myself just so we know. But yeah. it's the Discord audio filter probably doing its work. to be out of the cutscene for uh, this massive gameplay section where we do one warp and then we're back in the cutscene. Yay! Okay, Hulk is doing the uh, Alpha Electivire Pass, let's see how it goes. You have to get long turn around it, but that worked out. Probably could have got it uh, tighter on the inside, but yeah. You didn't hear it, but it did aggro. Uh, yeah, but you were out of the range to get hit. So that's like... Yeah, if I if I had gone left, I would have gotten hit, I think. Good, good spacing. Everything in Arceus is slowly becoming Smash Bros. I love it. It's just <laughs> funny games in general. Yeah. We will punish the beauty flies. <laughs> we space out the alpha shots. We crouch cancel everything. <laughs> Attacks today for you. And the next thing we need in this fight to happen is uh, the Gardevoir to kill your Gastron without going for like Coal Mind. Well, it can't go for Coal Mind and can and can still kill you, but not always. If it goes for Coal Mind on turn 2, you're going to find the. Okay, I get the. Uh, tight, uh, or like the inner side of the you know, part of the uh, wire. So that saves a couple seconds, I think. So the fight is looking good right now. Uh, the Sneasel is apparently a range if it's lower level. I learned that like at some point, but it's it must be a really favorite range, and if you're high level, it's probably guaranteed. But yeah, let's see how this goes for me. It might be B for the record. I lost a minute here. Due to uh, getting the attacks to death, that happened yesterday. So, just don't go for Hypnosis. Thank you. Not seeing the same shenanigans this time. But I use a script there, this is some time, but that's fine. There we go. Gastro wishes in our third slot. Can just mash A. So here, time for me to see what God of War does. Hopefully, it just kills me. I can't find. Call my first is fine. Just. Kill me, I think this is a range, but I'm not sure. Oh, it can do that, that's right. Sometimes it gets more turns, so it just wastes time by going for a useless combo and could just kill me, I think. But 
just that's just the bitter sneasel here. The poison jab. I don't like Mr. Range. Well there it is, you can miss the range. Somehow it doesn't lose that much time. I guess you just have a good speed advantage here since it went for a huge combo and it's like on a long cooldown. So even with a strong move, it only portions so it gets to move. Okay. So yeah, I'm not gonna get an optimal fight here, but it's not gonna be as bad as my PB. So let's see how this is doing Kamaru right now. So there's a couple of things in Kamaru. Uh, the Snorlax that's about to come out, it's gonna kill the Hunter real quick, and that's fine and all, but then you're supposed to get a combo with a uh, Sneeze or Sword Stance in the close combat. Sometimes if you're too slow it doesn't happen and you need to knock it to potion range to get like a speed advantage. So here we get the combo, nice and all. Wow. Then it's just a guaranteed kill with close combat. Don't even need to go for strong since we're plus attack. Or plus one attack. I choose my loot here. Uh, it's not that. <laughs> yeah, the clay table use the sneezer, that's fine. We have another one. Sometimes it doesn't spare the sneezer, but that saves time if you can do it. Then you still plus attack and you can kill it. I need to haunt her out, not right now. Okay, there we go. Okay, poison jab. Don't need strong, you're plus a uh, This is interesting. The golem might not heal this new cell. Depends. Good, highly clever with this and that sort of Here. We lived, and we just get to go for a close combat. Uh, that should be a fast Kamado fight for Hulk, I think. I wasn't fully paying attention since I had to also play my own game. I tied yours. You're tied? I, I tied yours. You're ah, not how, how You're about the run one. itself? Like the pace? I'm, I'm plus zero on my PB. I'm plus 15 on the run, though. Oh, okay. You need to save some time on uh, the legendary, so you can... You have to catch it on the first. Yeah, literally it has to be a first ball catch to get world record, otherwise, yeah. 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 Let's get the same thing with Kamaro, but for me... Don't miss Sneasel more. Oh, I've never seen this miss. Right. So, when you use Poison Jab in Strong Style, uh, it is a 50% chance to poison. If I get the 50% chance, it's practically a guaranteed catch from there. Yeah, it's a 90% catch it, rate if you get it to poison. If I don't get it, then we're kind of in trouble. In this I don't need that shot, so it's nice. Nice. Okay, so now we're yeah, true. Let's see if we get the coin flip. If we miss it, then it's still roughly a coin flip to catch every attempt. Let's I got see. it. Let's go. He's probably getting it now. It's over 50%, but still. Alright, that's so unlucky. Okay, yeah, do I leave? So, no record today, unfortunately. So, you missed a 90%, I think. But well, it might have been like 85% okay. since it was over. Chill. Did it break out again? I'm gonna die. No, it just keeps killing my entire team, real quick. Oh, yeah, you don't get a turn because of Pokia speed. Yeah, that's the issue about Palkia, it's faster than Dialga. 
Yeah, we really left five seconds to PB, which was an insane good fight, so I take that. Are we yeah, finally catching dead, it? Unfortunately, oh well. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I can still get a 345, which is really good in a marathon, so I can't be upset. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Here I would be going for the safe strat that we just kind of managed to. So was it together. a 91 percent chance when I went for that poison kill? Or that poison uh, kill well, that was like like with a uh, lower HP, like you probably had like plus ELs on it, so it didn't take as much damage. Well, no. What was the what was the percentage? Of damage? I have no idea because I haven't calculated it with that HP. I, I could do that later. Wait, how much? Wait, is it supposed to be lower than it was? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I didn't look that closely because I had to do my own fight as well. So It was a little to... bit less than half. But yeah. Less than half. Okay, that's like so unlucky then because that should have been like uh, probably over 91%. Yeah. Okay, so here the safe strat. I think I don't need to go for strong style, honestly. We'll see how much this does. Yeah, I think this is fine. This should be a guaranteed catch. Once I hit the hypnosis. I mean, it's... Okay, there's two things that can happen. Uh, if it gets another turn, then it sucks. Then I don't get to do the safe strat. But if I get a turn here... Which I do. I get to do this 90% accurate hypnosis, which I hit. And now we have stacked like 1 fourth HP and a status condition. This should be a 100% catch rate now. Use the sneeze, I think it's faster, so it probably doesn't get another turn. And see what happens here. If it's not guaranteed, it's nearly guaranteed. And that's a low bounce and we get it. Saving time over my PB. So this is like expected value, maybe a little worse, like it's a three turn battle compared to getting it like on average 2.6 turn battle when you just gamble for the uh, first ball without a status condition. But if you... If you uh, go for that the lower end of the RNG is really bad, like, you might even wipe if you don't ever get the coin flip. Here it's just guaranteed, unless you miss hypnosis. Which is 10%. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, currently I'm 3... no, 237 behind uh, my record. So that's around where, where this run is gonna finish. So it's gonna be probably a low the uh, 48, I think. Maybe high 47, we'll see. Yeah. Hulk's going for the uh, last fight of the game. Like Pokemon battle. It's still RNG. Uh, normally it's completely fine, but you can get hypnosis hacks by the game on losing you 10 or 20 seconds. I magically save 10 seconds in this run from, for the rest of it. I can PB, but I don't, I don't think it's happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends on how much time save you have. Fun fact, since we are a turbo, this fight uh, basically can be done without uh, letting, the, uh, letting uh, go of the turbo button, because you are using Earth Power, which is in slot 1, regardless of which uh, legendary you went for, and it's gonna one, one hit both of them. The only issue is that if you if you die to hypnosis, then you actually have to select that was a, perfect uh, fight. a move. Oh, was it a double miss or something? 
singleness. Oh, it's right. Pokey is better for that reason, though, because it doesn't get that many turns, maybe. I mean, maybe. Saves the gold by two seconds. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see how my movement goes. So here we just fall down. Cannot die Pocky from this. Has, uh, Sometimes you get put to red health there, but you can never die uh, from fall damage unless you're already in red health. Unless it's like a lethal height you fall from, in which case it kills you from any height. But let's say you're like almost at red health, like uh, there's a lot of uh, black on the borders of your screen. You can still take a really high fall and be left at red health without dying. It's a funny little detail. That applies for all the moves as well, you can never be killed without going to red first. The only exception is the lethal fall that is like from uh, a fight that's a little bit higher than what uh, Braviary goes to when you jump on it. Let's see if I get the mash A battle here. As long as I don't ruin everything, this is a 345-49. Nice. Which is pretty good, given that it's 20 seconds off the world record. <laughs> yep. Would have been like 5 seconds off the world record if my run yesterday didn't get the record. Mm. And Hypnosis missed, that's nice. Yeah, I guess Palkia is better for this fight because of the higher speed stat. Uh, Gengar gets less moves off. Something to consider. So it's not only it's not just a bad thing that Palkia has higher speed, because it does suck in the in the, in the catching part where you like, are, are less likely to outspeed it. Like you need actually a good speed sneezer to pull it off. Were you able to outspeed the Pokia? Yeah. Okay. My first turn? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. That means that you have. But like, then I got two turns after I, after I broke out. Yeah, that's something that happens often. What did you send in second? Sneasel. Okay. It might have been that the other Sneasel wasn't as good then. No, no, the, sneeze, the second Sneasel was fine. I got. Oh, I messed up. Um. No, the second Sneasel was fine, because once I sent out the Sneasel, I got to uh, throw a ball. But once the ball broke out, Sneasel died. And right, like, right. Haunter, Haunter, Haunter yeah. also died. Yeah, that was after bad. that, you're... Yeah, after the second Sneasel, it's supposed to get two turns, obviously, because now you've been using these fast Sneasels and all, but mm -hmm. then after that, you're going to the Haunters and stuff with, like, that 95 speed, base speed, which isn't that much when you compare it to a Palkia yeah, that is, like, 10 levels higher. Yeah, it's really unlucky that you got the breakout. It must have been like a 5% chance. Like, yeah. I'm used to being unlucky in this game. Unless the, unless the formula is wrong, but it seems to be correct. Like, I I was I was uh, in the call with Anubis, who showed me, like, in action with the debugger, that the numbers are what they are, calculated with the spreadsheet, and you get the same result. Uh, uh, outside of like minor like floating point precis precision issues, like that doesn't really make an impactful difference. No, very very shortly if I just threw three forty five away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you have a split there before the fight. Nope, still possible. Alright, let's do it. What's champ?
here for the final boss. Uh, first of all, the loading time, time difference between the other and party, uh, I think party is a little slower, so uh, I used to use a music here for that time in my damage boost that are coming up, but it doesn't work for the other. I thought it would be hard to get it for this time. And the first boss, for this reason, so we just circle around it. You can actually stop for a second to like, have more space there, but that's a bit here. Then once there's four meteors, you have to uh, hit the purple clouds to get the damage boost, which are unfortunately missed. Uh, taking the little hit stun from the shockwaves is faster than dodging, that's why you damage boost through the... Taking the uh, purple cloud is uh, faster than taking the hit stun from the shock wave, that's what I mean. Right. Yeah, sometimes if you mess that fight up, it can get that's scary. That's time, by the way. That is time. GG. Yeah, sometimes if you Ugh. fail the uh, damage boosts, uh, it gets really scary because it gets into the second phase of the fight, which we usually finish the fight before it even starts. But in the second phase, there's some really fast dropping meters. It's actually RNG. Thumbs up. But if you play it well, then you actually don't even run into that situation. But yeah, this is Hulk. You're beating me by a couple minutes here. I'm about to enter the final boss as well. Both of us Maybe. getting a really good time. Unfortunately, Hulk missed, up, missed the uh, WR by mere seconds, I think. Yeah, it's like a minute. <laughs> okay, right, yeah, at the end. Well, going into the final fight, uh, I lost... How much did I lose? Oh. I lost 15 Pro seconds. Pro controller for the final time. So please, for me at least. This is a good mm -hmm. team. Yeah, but I didn't lose those 15 seconds at the end. No, I think it's stop here. Literally 30 seconds. It's fine. Because now the cloud isn't as close. Because the meteor lands where you are standing when it starts dropping. Yeah, that's a better time than I ever could have dreamed of. For yeah, I got a perfect fight, fight here. Perfect of course, I get the perfect fight on a run that doesn't, like, really matter, but at least it's in the marathon, so it's cool. Got all the damage boosts. Now I just walk inside and finish the run and that's a 347.58 for me so i barely got a 347 that's cool really sick race i think yeah that's... it was a really good race both of us got a really good time considering at least in my perspective how poorly my run went like in terms of the rng from the beginning like getting the two shins breakouts into the enrage and uh, what else was there like <laughs> Uh, a lot of great things happening. Managed to actually pull out a pretty good time out of this. So I'm, I'm really glad. Yeah, GG for the both of you. <laughs> uh, if you want to get into writing this game, uh, join the Discord, switch speedrunning Discord. Yes. Um, yep. I also have a uh, a tutorial. Well, it's not on my YouTube yet, but it'll be on my YouTube soon. It's a little bit of an outdated route. I might remake it. Um, a video tutorial. But everything you'd ever need is in the Discord, you can ask us. Uh, I don't think we have our newest notes and yeah. resources. The notes, but... notes can be found on the speedrun.com page as well. I try to keep them like, as up-to-date as possible for any person. Mm. Yeah. Fun game, you should try it. <laughs> yep. It's it's definitely it's definitely a fun game. Like it was fun casually, and then it's definitely a it's like like we said before, it's a very unique game compared to the rest of the P like PSR runs personally. Yeah. Like, it's really it's a good unique in the fact that like it's a lot different than any other stuff. Yeah, you have that's to what calculate I like a lot it. of stuff. Uh, uh the barrier to entry is a little higher than usual, but that is only if you like kinda want to get like a uh, 
remote it is and uh, first time like no one there's nothing telling you not to just go in and read the notes as you go and get like a six hour time or seven hour time like, like that's how hard oh, it's and, yeah and now now he's uh record content there was the holder like before before Literally yesterday, yesterday. And could have done it today four hours ago yeah the we could have swapped no, my, the record first time, twice here uh, my first time ever was a 6.53, so don't get discouraged if you're not, like, you know, putting up top yeah. times immediately. That's, it definitely takes time. That's certainly a valid way to uh, start learning this game. Like, uh, just do, keep doing that. You get ma massive P PBs uh, like, yeah. when you do that, and it feels fun. I personally like to, like, uh, go through the route before I start a timer yeah, and learn was everything a myself. Yeah, Shady bookworm and got a 4.20 on his first try or something, yeah. so. Yeah, but that's pretty, it's not too much different from what Hark did, it's just that I wasn't running a timer when I was uh, practicing, so however you want. Yeah. Uh, but I think that's it from us. Yeah. Yeah. For bits. Oh, uh, I'll be running this game next week uh, at Midwest Speed Fest. In right. Minnesota. Ooh. Yeah, and I'm supposed to know. commentate that as well. Yeah, you'll be uh, piped in from Discord. Yeah. Like, yeah, online commentary. Yeah, Alright. And that should be good. And, well, let's see.